Hey, there we go. Okay, someone can be in the right in the past and do the wrong. Was that girl that? No, it was that fucking shag. Shag. West is in first. Well done, oh, Sped. You're in for an... Madame Colombo. It's some sort of French version. You're in for another exciting episode of I Can't Believe It's Not Void. This, no, this is the episode where they go to Earth, but like Catherine Janeway has been sent to the 1970s so she can avoid Sarah Silverman. I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure that episode's set in the 90s, to be fair, Robert, so she ain't dodging much there. This is the 80s. I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah, but the Sarah Silverman episode was um, special. La Mystère des Mages. That's the mystery of the magician. My God, it's it's like we've got a native French speaker in the chat. Go on, Abit, what does it mean? The mystery of the mages. <sighs> you dickhead, is this... What? It's not What's wrong? It's not playing through again. What, is no, I the... can hear it, I can hear it. Yeah, but the chat can't hear it. Oh, and yeah. this is for their benefit no, as much as ours. They can hear it, but they can't see it. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, go to your OBS and then I've make the it's video right, play. Right. Yeah. Oh, they could have had it. They could have had an obits JML describing it. I can't. I can't yeah. believe I can't see it. There we go. Here it is. Now it we're is all on the booty bad skin. Ah, but it's not René Aubergenis. <clears throat> You haven't told me what the Mr. Air, Mr. Air of the uh, Mages means. I like it, it this way. So, imagine there's a mystery about some mages. What's a mage, I bet? In French. It's a type of wizard. Oh, okay. Then. So, it was what I said it was then? Yeah. So, it's a bunch of blokes who ain't had sex till they're like 40 then. It's, this, this it's, more, like, it's more like the mystery of what the fuck's happened to his face. The mystery of Emo Monk and his bum hole. Right. Well, Hannibal met up with him, didn't he? He had his bars. Him and Hannibal had a dinner. <laughs> I've got to get my rest. Oh, he's got in, order to edit post- in order to edit well, posts on Before he got the wheelchair, though. Yeah. Back alive, I'll stay Did you know you can edit posts on Twitter, but so. it's a premium feature? Ooh. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, I've deleted that tweet and I've just put the link and said oh, live she's got now. On her chair. Close your eyes. Send Ooh. your spirit Bill. to me. It's not out of the future, is it? That yeah. never actually happened. That's my favourite um, James Bond. That is the man with the golden gun. So can I, Sid? What's that supposed to mean? By her alluring beauty. In the future and doesn't care for it. I'm not crazy about the press. She's got big forehead, isn't she? She's giving. Is that a fact? She, she's giving Jane Seymour. You get to live in a house her. like this, five hundred bucks a pop from your devoted client. You're naming all the papers. Is he having 50, the 50 50 MK split? Ultra training? So. Maybe you'd rather be back working in that factory. You'd like that better? Oh, then he had the Me, hmm. Sister Janice. Papers, papers. Is that is he having the, the, uh, Marvel there? Good evening. Brie Larson. No. <laughs> Fucking hell, she'd be a... What do you do, Sid? She wouldn't be in there, would she? I taught you, kiddo. There's one person I know that Rumble, but I, I taught you every carny grift I knew. Oh, all people this from class into the bargain. It's... That's what GCHQ. I do. That's what you did. Look at me. They I'm the chief through the grapevine. We were watching it over. I can't believe it's not Voyager. And she's got to be in for it. <laughs> this, this is... I uh, just think this is Voyager, but it's in the holodeck. Yeah, this is the alternate time I'm where, where, hey, look, where look, Kim she's, actually she's got promotion. She's operating the holodeck. Holodeck, go on. <laughs> no, you see, what's happening is, <laughs> they realise that, that she's going to get the ship blown up, so they put Catherine Jamie under a spell, and they keep her in the holodeck until they get back home. To the dark timeline where it's Captain Kim, he threw her in the holodeck. No, it's Odo, because Odo was in the first one, so he got, he got to safely put in the simulation, the then he... Then he uh, Od- Odo's Jane, busy... Uh, Odo's busy Eve. doing the melted chocolate orgy on that planet. <laughs> All right. He has his balls in so many orifices. What's your proposition? What do you want? 
Expenses come off the top. 25% is yours. Oh, the rest is mine. Yes. Um. Yeah. Try reading. I should put my headphones on. Sure. No, stop it. The seeds, dude. Not you're, in ruin, you're ruining people's viewing pleasure of this this TV program, Hobbit. Well, no, I'm, you know I'm sorry for sucking on the mint. Yeah, I reckon it's non snuggy It's not mints. Yeah. I'm glad ah, yeah, but then you tear the rustle of it. Then, then, then you'd be doing a Fraser oh. as you fucking trundle through the bag. Yeah. You and me, we have to have a little talk. I love how dramatic they all are in these old programs. Mm. The fucking houses are massive in these things. I wonder if Janeway is going to blow going to blow half of this one off as well. I bet. Look. What's that look on her face supposed to it be about? Like I don't know. I think living she's being beneath nice. the sea. Well, not living really. It was like swimming. Somewhere between. You just hear the sound of a bicycle bell in the background. <laughs> Jeremy Vine. Didn't been at it again. The hospital room. <laughs> Pale Speaking of which, light. I hope the RSPB um, investigates him for assaulting a bird fun. today. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, everyone's sure grasped him up, and it was an April Fool's that joke. There's nothing to fear at all, just the knowledge. Uh, of course, a likely story. Did it look like I, I reckon the Scottish people should still say it out their feelings. We each belong so, do we, do we think uh, Mr. Columbo is going to get, get mentioned in this one, or they just drop the pretense that she's Mrs. Columbo? I was blessed. Well, they haven't mentioned it at all God in the past two episodes, so... Uh, <laughs> the power to remember you know, maybe, maybe third time's the charm? Come on, her name airport brings it all. He was stuck in an airport picture. in the first one, English, and then <laughs> he just got, never got mentioned after that. To read my mind. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, and some, some well, evil German like guy took over the airport. Oh, some man in a vest had to stay for the day. That's exactly what All happened on Christmas, believe it or not. Yeah. Let's see, it's 20 past 10. Of a couple of minutes, so let's try. We always give samples. Is there some Columbo sort of Columbo with Diaz? Someone needs to do that on AI. We're not interested in lorry journalism. Yeah, but ask me Bruce Willis from like now, like he's just mumbling and doesn't know what's no, going on. No, literally Columbo in Diaz, where he's got stuff. Where he's got stuff in terrorists. <laughs> I was just about to say, is there like some sort of alternate universe where Columbo and McLean are on the same flight? <laughs> I reckon you could do a stitch together like the Naked Gun and the uh, the Lord of the Rings Close thing that you posted the other day. I thought that oh, was pretty not good. To think. Oh. Let the music think for you. Hey, she's getting fucking high. I, I never would have You're thought not, will, an Admiral of Star oh. Starfleet would do that, Hubbard. Jane Wee. You are Got right. Though, you? She got to about 13 and then she looked 50. Yeah. And she's looked <laughs> yeah, 50 for it. a long like, time. She, got, she went through puberty and that was it 40 all the way. You, what, you hit oh. the brick wall when you hit fifth there, <laughs> old my dear. Janeway, Janeway go fishing <laughs> quest now in hologram. <laughs> How did you know Janeway is an native Indian? In the music. <laughs> photograph of a little girl. I'd say age seven or eight. Report card, uh, name Jenny Colombo, third grade, A in reading, C minus in arithmetic. She's got a Britney mic. Oh. Wallet photo. She's got one of those uh, call center mics. Recent photo. Look at the future technology, mate. A wireless ear, wireless headset. That, that's expensive, though. She's going for a fucking purse while she's in there. Cheeky girl. Numbers. And a little girl. Have you lost the tenor? We well, will you have by the end of this reading. worry about Jenny, Mrs. <laughs> Let your daughter go at her own pace. She'll do well in arithmetic soon enough. Just fucking Columbo is going, what the fuck's going on here? Three hundred dollars from to see a psychic. What the fuck? Looks at all the bills and he's had enough. Just what the fuck? Where the, the fuck is my money? Love. Chakotay's talking to the doctor and it's like, hey, can you aerosolize love. peyote? <laughs> well, it's basically <laughs> mescaline, so I'll have a go. Her husband is involved in a dangerous profession. The police. I see oh, yeah. now. Chakoti drinks shampoo and go on vision quest. Close. <laughs> close to death. 
from bays, but I'm just missing paint, mate, in, in, in the docking bay, oh, supposed to be painting up all like, the shuttles. It's not you. Oh, white Someone man, my, my vision quest will take me yeah. a great distance from the front oh, of the Finn. CVS to Finn the ditch Michael. behind the CVS. You just got, you just got uh, Paris and Kim. Oh, that Chakotay, he sniffed all the paint again. Good morning, Sid. Chakotay is rolling around, doing? rolling around, frothing at the mouth. Good morning. It's to him well, locking his imagination, chasing an eagle on. in his vision quest. In this, like, in this Kim's universe, saying, in this long, universe of Voyager, is, is Kim still on traffic duty? Well, mustn't be afraid of death. Like, no, Kim's, 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 Kim's it, chucked uh, Janeway in the in the holodeck. That's why I'm watching this film <laughs> He done too many of them night shifts, and now he thinks he's the captain. But I'm not sure. I like how uh, Kim is like pointing out to Shakot. He says, "You know, the we replicators can replicate you proper you drugs. You don't just have to replicate Listerine." It's like, do not speak to me about my ancestors. This is ancestral tradition to like smell turp, special and, power, and mouthwash. <laughs> is she causing him to have an heart attack? Or is he just like rubbing his tits when he gets out of bed in the morning? And swim forever. So Nearly cuts him, so that's why he's rubbing on. What about? I want her now. I'm sorry, Sid. She's with a client. You want them ripple nipple, nipple people. I can't interrupt. I'll tell her you called. May I have your attention, Sid? The lady I'm with is not a client. She's a reporter. And she wants to write about Sister Janice. She's going Good to on HD TV. in the experience. Room. What what so why is he trying to convey it? Like he's having a panic death. attack, he's a bit cold. He thinks I he's so naked. Nipple. What's what's what exactly is he trying we to convey? Fucking really now. bad. Unless you're too frightened to move. Are you frightened, Sid? Hey, it's video drone before video drone. <laughs> video drone. It's video drone, but shit. I really Welcome. like to know how that fake fortune of a lady managed to shoot through his TV. Yeah. Farewell to the flesh. I think it's the most Her and the girl from the ring could really do some damage. Yeah. You know what, I'm, I'm probably going to get shit from the audience for this, but yeah. this is better than Videodrome. <laughs> I hate David Cronenberg films, they're so creepy. <laughs> now you just got a crush on Janeway, ain't you, a bit? Oh god, yeah! I love yeah, like women that look. The fuck? Like, why weren't he impaled on the glass? That's what I don't get. The fucking shards that come out of that TV set. <sighs> no answer. Eve is my friend, and I'm sure you're going to be my friend too. Oh, well, I don't think I'm ever going to be. Ultimate <laughs> instrumental a phone <laughs> well, please, sitting on the outdoor back. glass tiny, uh, will, dining table. You. Yeah, they're rich. They're rich instrumentalists. They just buy a new phone each time. Each time it gets wet. Well, we saw that with the amount of groceries she purchased just for like one day. So it's like, yeah, I need forty-eight four eggs. eggs. Sid yep, yep, forty-eight of them. He this is how we having omelets. You having fucking omelets? All right. Can I just omelet take just one omelet? Of course. Tomorrow we're gonna buy like uh, I don't know. Fifty pounds of steak. That's how much a human gets through in the day, right? <laughs> now you're you're got it wrong. I want to believe Janeway's just egging people's asses at night. <laughs> <laughs> She's freezing the eggs yeah. first. But sometimes I can read them. Yeah, Miss Jefferson. <laughs> Americans. I can She's you getting. Wanna, you want to look at me out on the town, leaving me husband in an airport? Have eggs on your fucking door. Yeah. She's putting spuds in their exhaust pipes. Please don't hate me. You wait to see how much bomb roll she buys. To be fair, this, doc's, this director's asleep on the fucking job. He's not really telling them how, what, what emotions he's working for. I don't know what they're supposed to be conveying or what's going on. Like, she, she, she shot a guy through the telly? I mean, that's a bit like X Files territory, surely. It's a good magic that trick, though, isn't it? Muscle. To be fair. No oh, oh, yeah. Excuse me, sir. I, was well, I think, they, they, I think I've got it figured out. You know, well, you know, report for my paper. Well, you know, oh, the when they go lady. in and they and that bird's going through their armbags, she, she's, she's obviously changed lady. changed the uh, pills, hasn't she? The desk sergeant said somebody in the building heard a gunshot. 
No, oh, man, you she's, she's a master wizard. She went off war. I'm telling you. You reckon she was uh, getting his heart pills out? Heart failure. You want to talk oh, heart failure. There talk we go. Talk to Sergeant Kaplan. Yeah. He must have been watching something on the TV set. Do you think this is... Um, Whatever it was. Like, yeah, but uh, I was changing the heart pills, mate, the TV bloke. Because he kicked in the picture oh. tube. Uh, then dropped out of a heart attack. Yeah, he kicked it in. That's that's why the glass is all over the fucking hotel room, you dope. Fuck me. And the man me. next door heard a gunshot. Well, yeah, but we said, saw it. it she gone. shot out of the out of the what TV. Yeah, we didn't see it. reckon what it is, is Jane, Jane weighs that by the cop. They have to send, like, she's three not a cop, cops. She's just a reporter. Oh, no, it's like the cops are that bad that she's got to help them out. Next Tuesday. Yeah. yeah, right after the PTA. It, it makes sense in uh, Jane Way's hallucination world. <laughs> it, in the hol- it makes sense in the holodeck. What well, goes on in the holodeck? The TV stays exploded. Alfred gets said he hallucinated. Is that it? No, he didn't hallucinate the TV exploding because it I'll tell you the did. truth, Mrs. Columbo. Now you're probably aware of this. In the year of how the, they had to cut out a lot of it. The bit they uh, the cut out was just like, yeah, Jane Way's crazy. Let's just put her in the holodeck and t- let's figure stuff out. Chakotay's the captain now. Yeah. I wouldn't know, man. Yeah, but you turn around and Chakotay's sniffing, eating glue and sniffing paint strip off. Yeah, well, that's why Ens- Kim remains an ensign, even though he's acting captain. Nah, Kim's the real captain, and I want to believe that the, the doctor's got an eye patch on and he's just being a, being a knob. Ensign, Ensign Kim is Odo. Well, he's really, he he's really puppeteering the events aboard the uh, Voyager. Yeah, uh, Maybe he threw it's something. a changeling conspiracy. Yeah. Threw something? No, it's a Chinese what? conspiracy. Weird. Have you wondered why there are no dogs is on the not, Voyager? Is she not bothered about why the fucking shit? Why there's probably here. equivalent to probably a plate glass window Maybe with put it back. glass on the floor? <laughs> then have mm. a heart attack. When that's what the TV that, exploded that the max, oh. like 24 inch TV, examiner. is it? It was pretty big. I'm sure. I think even a big mm. was like 24 or 26 back then, weren't it? Hmm. Well, so, so, some people have big attacks. I don't know, that was the before four time, that was, lads. Hmm. I don't Chipa- know, I mean, that looks Chipati pretty Kota. pretty. <laughs> Says <laughs> Kota. She's stepping you know, on the evidence. Yeah, that's it. Get your fingerprints everywhere. Just go through through shit. Is this a crime scene or not? Well, who cares? Enough movies. Just, just. I I just uh, love like the final episode of this. Is is, in those in those uh, pretend books a bit. I have seen them. Yes. They were dead classy. They were. It made you look like you was intelligent and had loads of books. And not just a bunch of like porno in it. Now, I am going to ask for big spoilers now, and I'm going to apologise to the audience, but surely the last episode is her being dragged into the police station. Right? She's got a fingerprint over like 20 odd murder scenes. <laughs> I came right away. Spoilers. Well, I, I don't know what the uh, end is, but that sounds likely. Although the end had to be deleted because she's in the sick bay and the doctor's like, ah, you're awake. Hmm, what a shame. <laughs> the, the, the doctor's shit, she's awake. Yes, ma'am, in the bedroom. Oh, yeah. Chakotay was running such a tight shit. We've been, we've been around the same planet 16 times since you were gone. <laughs> he hasn't That's finished his vision quest. He's been there six days. Chakotay Chico- got a big vision quest with, with <laughs> bottle of shampoo. Same time, Sid Russell. Uh, you were together with Anthony, you and Sister Jen. The replicators are run empty because they've just, like, there's bowls of half-empty oh, mouthwash just <laughs> strewn around all the corridors. <laughs> I want to believe. You know, um... The sergeant said somebody heard a shot. The sergeant uh, also says Mr. Russell broke the television set in a fit of rage, but he couldn't have yeah. been watching television. I mean, not oh, Mother Goose. Real to real. Couldn't he? Why couldn't he? Yeah. Why couldn't he be watching television? I w- I wonder if Kung Fury took that inspiration from this. I don't you know, know. Because there's a scene in it where Hitler shoots an FBI agent through the phone. This, maybe. Oh, she's got it now. Isn't this one of those machines that plays, you know, television When he, when he ejects, when yes, he ejects the, so. video, the video well, set, is that not going to flick that, but it's flick that alarm clock uh, uh, down the back? 
Oh, okay. Then. There's no question cassette, answered. No tape. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel silly now? Just one more question. One more thing. One more thing. She's learned out <laughs> for her husband. Mrs. Colombo, I'm not by nature. My favourite was who kept breaking in the breaking Granted, in that house the other week. I try to make a living out of a weekly news. Oh yeah, she just sort of like you know helps I herself, but smashes windows. You know, <laughs> your home is my home. Yeah, <laughs> me cast a suit The rest I lost during my three years as rewrite man on the Buffalo Evening Times. Join me in a cup of coffee. She is a strong, okay, independent so woman, lad. I won't take none of this. Oh, is it a Betamax? No, it can't be because the they were VHS. How do you feel about 300 words on the lady with the Betamax? You can only see one side of the tape. Couldn't and I don't you? believe in the Holly Arch. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, the other reel was hidden inside. Yeah, yeah, I, for, for no reason whatsoever. She told me about my husband. It's a trick. She said that Sid Russell was on the edge of death. Did he fall or did she push him? You haven't any right to say anything like that. Yeah, go on, mate. You fucking tell her. May I inquire as to your birth sign? Yes. I'm a Libra. I was sure you'd know that. You know what I am? No, sir. Neither do I, and I don't intend to find out. <laughs> Good luck. Good day, Mrs. Columbo. God, son. Nice story on the Hollyhocks. Good day, Mr. Alden. He's already dropped the hint. He said he runs a fucking business. Mr. Oldman, where, where's Nog to see this fucking base Jewish man? Yeah. Something wrong, Mrs. Columbo? I think I just discovered a pale green light shining at the bottom of the sea. What? The fuck? Um, you what? Mr. Howard Dan. He left his office before. It comes out of some shit, didn't it? Yeah. The track. Bet heavily on four races. That must be the anesthesine kicking in. Yeah. What about Mrs. Canfield? Uh, Mrs. Canfield. Two days ago, 2.20 p.m., she met a man in the lobby of the uh, Royal Crest Hotel. He was about 40, blonde. Uh, Do you notice that even, uh, even the copyright people don't care enough to, to strike this up? <laughs> I you. mean, this is a Hollywood production. It sounds like David Grohl from Foo Fighters. He's happy as long yeah. as, some, uh, as people listen Very to his good. music. The producers are happy as long oh, as someone's uh, watched it. One more entry. Yeah. A woman carrying a suitcase went into the same apartment house where Sid Russell lived. It was about four in the afternoon, the day Sid went to San Diego Clinic. She went into the apartment next to his. She went to his apartment, too. You're doing better than I expected. I'm glad you're pleased. There's only the two of us now. We have to learn to help each other. Oh, they're going to scissor. They're going to scissor. If that was a mo if that was for modern audiences, too. they'd be scissoring right now, wouldn't they? I feel you trust me. Well, already. they're not playing the Emmanuel music. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, dear. What are you saying, Callie and Kath? Uh, fucking what's the face from Disney? Would be saying, put a chick in it, make a gay. Yeah, make a gay. We had fucking it decorated. Lame. And. Uh, I'm it's already sure lame, isn't it, to be fair, like, they've, they've got that one down. Oh, we have our own. Well, they put chicks in it and they made I it lame before it was fashionable. <laughs> and my the here. It's perfect. This ain't lame. We this have a very fine quality class of TV. People, Columbo. Lawyers and doctors. I mean, there you are. You've, you've, you've yeah. half read the TV, guys. You know, oh, oh goody, Columbo's on tonight. I really love seeing that dirty old man in a Mac. Sister Janice. Uh, that just winds Are you on a vision quest, quest there? there. The next door. And then you come down. You've been sniffing. Uh, uh, can I see your nipples in that blouse? And uh, 403. You've been sniffing wood polish. You can leave the keys at the desk. Are you on a vision quest? Thank you. I drink shampoo. I go on vision quest. I'll let you dream for a while. She dressed like she was 80 back then, didn't she? Yeah. I never understood. Is, is Janeway supposed to be about 60 or something? Because I never understood there. I don't know. It's like she's try I think they're trying to say she's in her 30s in, in, in Voyager. 
and it just makes me think like I don't know what age they're trying to portray betray her as in this, but it's like anything under fucking four air. Yeah. Oh, God, they haven't it. replaced the TV yet. Nah, well, well it's just probably, I guess nobody lives there now. It's really weird, isn't it, of it? Exactly. And it's amazing, you like. On your daft cow. So, is it is like a murder crime scene, and she just sort of helps herself in all the time? It's like, you a press reporter? No. You you work with police? No. I work for the weekly oh, advertising. Mate, there's, no, there's no tape over the door. The police ain't took anything for evidence. You know what I mean? No one's going to do anything, so she may as well put uh, prints everywhere. It's the premise behind the whole thing of like, uh, like, hey, police, can I come in here? Well, she can't even ask us because we're not here. No oh, one's guarding the oh, sound to come out of the TV. <laughs> Maybe. I genuinely hope, like, the last episode is like a, a lowly detective, like, he's got the string board out and it's like there's a mask murderer on, we think it's Miss Columbo. It's, it's a bit cold in that, <laughs> isn't it? You're gonna poke someone's eye out. Well, we established that from the geezer before, I think he, he, had, his, he had an heart attack, fell over. You know, like you have them smash things for glass. Yeah. His nipples were that hard, they just fucking <laughs> shattered the TV. Well, I love getting comfy in a murder victim's bed. They would have keys to each other's houses back then. <laughs> oh, she did. She smashed that. Oh, I love putting my DNA everywhere. Why? Because why my watch is ridiculous. You just won't get away with none of this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put all my DNA everywhere around the flat. Good job they picked all that glass up. Didn't they? I've just been in there to sweep all this up. See, that shows you how unrealistic it is because whenever I've picked up glasses, fell, there's always a bit that's left. And they always it's stand on it. exploded outwards, you daft. I oh, know, but it's under pressure, isn't it? There's an extra tape there. Well, it exploded outwards, but they want to believe it exploded inwards. There's an extra, there's an extra tape on the thing. Do you remember the first time she pulled it out? She couldn't. Do you remember the first time she pulled that statuette thing out? It, yeah, that might still be plugged in, you daft bitch. Um, do you remember she pulled that statuette and it was at, and it was beside the VCRs, the the VHS. Tapes? Yeah, it was, yeah. So someone's put an extra tape on tape back there. See, what I need to know, lads, is obviously I'm a young whippersnapper. When was yeah. what fingerprinting became a big thing? Uh, about a hundred years ago. Sixties, weren't it? Yeah, so oh, no, I think it was like, No. It might have even been back in the 19th century. Oh, no, I don't think it's that old. But what I'm getting in is, like, putting your prints over everything on a crime scene was, was probably not a good idea to do um, during actually, the past to, to, to help out To help out the showrunners here, um, it, they've ruled it a suicide and they're not budging on it, haven't they? What? A suicide? Yeah. Uh, not yeah, suicide, well, what uh, about... Heart attack. Sorry. Yeah, but what about all the other times when, like, she's putting a grubby mitts over everything? But it's like, she, um... Did, is this, like, a running theme now? Just, like, all these suspicious murders or suicides? Uh, not They've all suicide. got a correlating factor, though. This uh, Columbo's DNA. Your your not that, so. Rubbing his nipples too vigorously. Yeah. <laughs> Magic, this is Wolfman. Excuse me, Rob, I just had friction burns on him. Late eighties. Spread where she's gonna have a rummage to some seventies porn. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right, not scary in the fucking slightest. This is for you. He's not First a creepy old man at all, is he? What for? For being a very oh, that's her daughter. She's, oh, remember, she's got a daughter. Am I going to I know, didn't she shot? normally just leave her daughter at home while she's out doing the sleuthing of it? Yes. Yeah, Would pretty much. Like yeah. <laughs> no, sir. Well, that works out very well. Where is the night there? You know what I mean? I bet there's a lot, a bit of bread left on the side. <laughs> mommy said I had to get a shot. Well, maybe got, we ought to give the shot you're to right, Mommy. You're right, Lizzie. You, Lizzie, you've got, you've got three How dozen do? eggs to tide you over till I get home. <laughs> Janeway comes in, snaps her fingers, what the face. Yes, yeah. there's, there's no excuse for what she's believe. doing, man. 
Yeah. I know you're saying this one's a suicide, but like, what about every other case? I, I didn't mean, I didn't mean suicide. They, they ruled it a heart attack, didn't they? Tell me about yeah. pacemakers. So, uh, you mean uh, natural heart causes? Pacemakers? Heart pacemakers. Well, in the previous episode, that was a suicide as well. Oh, terrific. Your husband? What he's telling me is he's Janeway's like Hillary Clinton. He just happens yeah. to stumble <laughs> upon all these suicide <laughs> victims. Yes. You're not quite However, like Hillary Clinton. We haven't seen any Cessna sides yet. I just have No, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, nobody's got into a... Uh... Tell me all about it. You're a very loving person, Mrs. Canfield. But you're being denied love. I can feel that very strongly. No. No. I see a man. A blonde man. He, he's not your husband, but he cares for you deeply. You deserve this love. This man. Hello, hello. Thought I'd find you here. Oh, yes. Him. Yeah, there's a uh, link to the watch Embrace together. We're him. watching another Mrs. Columbo. Oh, yeah. Another giant episode of I Can't Believe It's Not Voyager. It, it's another episode where she's put her fingerprints all over the crime scene, but <laughs> no details. She's, she's just helping herself to crime scenes left, right, Thank centre, you, right. You know Jess. how she is. Thank you. She, she's yeah. pinched uh, some of the Brumble videos that the bloke has. The, the ongoing the theme, though, to catch you up is rock hard nipples and exploding <laughs> tellies. Oh, we're going to get to know each other, I mean. And Sister Janice, too, I have a Psychologist telling to women to dump their husbands. It's almost like then. a premonition. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <the> well, then. <laughs> <laughs> Columbo. How nice to see you again. I just dropped by for a moment, if you have a moment. Oh, she's just doing that. I'm just asking questions a bit of again. Of course. <laughs> Why are you dressed <laughs> as a Jedi, love? She's 1892 was the first case sold with fingerprints. Would you like some more tea? No, thank you. It's the story I'm doing. Yeah, you start off from saying she's got no excuse for rubbing her hand print, hands everywhere, then getting in his bed, oh, not at all. doing I've all sorts of weird junky stuff. Press, as long as you don't refer to it as a prophecy. I think it sounds a little cold, don't you? She's pretty hot. Who's she? She looks familiar. Captain Marvel! Mentioning this notebook. Captain Marvel. And my no, it's not. thing is, Brie, Brie, Lar I think Brie Larson's the latest... Um, Nah, she ain't. When I came to see you the other day, I remember I was no. in my car. And I That's took like my notebook out and said, Hey, I'm going to tell about your house. Yeah. Then I dropped my keys. Question is, Emmy, would, would you let her shit on your bed? Can you imagine how big her bush is? And then we talked in the library. <laughs> and I made some You'd more notes. You'd need a hedge string. I put my notebook back in my bag. And we went into the experience. You know, you're cutting all them shapes into it like all the fancy people had the bushes put into it. And then you told me all those remarkable things about my life. And when I got back in my car, I took my notebook out to find my keys, and they were hanging on the notebook like this. You see? This way. Your point seems a little vague. My point, yeah, exactly. Sister Janice, is that yeah, someone went through my bag while I was in that room. Are you accusing me of some sort of cheap trickery? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, yes. <laughs> Tricks. Did I tell you what Sergeant Kaplan told me about the That's so pompous. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> what did Sergeant Kaplan tell you? You've been fucking rumbled, Jimmy. two Jimmy. records of arrest. <laughs> for fraud. Something to it's, do with the... She's so up herself, isn't she? Holy shit. Like, yeah. Any convictions, she, she, Mrs. Carver? She was Janeway even back no. then. She's yeah. always been Janeway. No convictions, Sister Janeway. <laughs> it always was. She's just one car. Yeah. Common accusations. Look, look we've established. You they took on the Janeway I was born by. But it's in my... The doctor put in a medically induced coma and she's in the holodeck because <laughs> she's, you know, you've been violating the I'm Prime Directive one too many times. Now Chicote, <laughs> who's high on mouthwash, is just Whatever the captain of the ship. we use if you choose to call them that. I've been over this. Four Kim's times, Kim's yeah. hijacked it. He's done a mutiny because you can't age profit at the mouth on the her the mouth The first was when oh. I was eleven. Kim Kim's got Kim's gone and it put all the bridge bridge crew, bridge bridge crew in various like the medical second. comas so he could just run the bridge for 20. one day. The death of a man I love. Who barks just my a heart. pom farm goon cave at the moment? And the third was Sid. <laughs> the fourth was last night. A 
certainty of doom, of another death connected with this house. Mine, Eve's. Yours. Perhaps even yours. I'm actually kind of interested to see how, how they figure this one out. But she's already figured it we'll out. We'll just have to wait and see. Won't we? I put it to you, Miss Psychic. That so you shot him to kill Jane Way. And see Kimber out of the big strap on. I've got to assert my dominance. <laughs> Please be careful. Not oh, that one, the big one, the clean on one. Voyager, where she escapes the hollow deck and starts causing havoc like uh, Moriarty does on the uh, TNG. <laughs> Do you reckon that either side could win though? Because how, how can Janeway out Janeway Janeway? <laughs> oh dear, what's going on here? Janice? Eve, what do you think you're doing? Eve, what do you think you're doing? I know I can help you. I'm gonna do your job now, bitch. I can't remember the actress's name for Jane Wayne, she knows but you searched her back. if you look at her acting career, you see that all of her stories are tied in together. You see, once she comes back to Earth and they find, like, um, the prime directive violations done, they yeah. send her back in time to serve in a, uh, a medium security women's prison. <laughs> prime directive? You even have a Tom Squad light like, sign whenever they see that it's her on the fucking board. It's like, oh, this bitch fucking, fucking time up again. <laughs> Well, that's why they erased all the memories and convinced her that she was a, a Russian woman that what got done for uh, murdering someone. Sister. Eve. Yeah. Even Sister. then, she had arrested in bitch face and thought she was a mafia, right? like Sister. a mafia fucking enforcer. I just feel this episode I, I, should be brought to you by uh, Purcell or something. Jenny, that's At least she's making recipe. use of some of those fucking eggs. That one comes out like anyway. ten miles of bad road. Yeah, it's making your shirts wider than wide. You did yeah. a great book, didn't you? Um, I'd just like the that audience to know that it's possible to eat chocolate pudding with chopsticks. Yeah. Very nice. I don't even know why we can How about chocolate pudding book? mix with chopsticks? Um, probably. She's cracked it. How about a banana with a straw, though, of it? That oh no! That redacted. Jenny, are there rude words at the top like of that recipe book? Directors. It's been redacted. Did you notice the re the recipe book redact but it was redacted? They put tape across nope. the top. Well, oh, that's probably because they didn't want people to see it's Martha Stewart's or whatever. On <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bessie's, that's what it was. Yeah. No, it was it was Fred, Fred West recipe for concrete mix. <laughs> no. Oh, no. You sure. think you think it's suspicious that we've never seen Mr. Columbo, but Mrs. Columbo's just laid down a nice patio in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, Jamie got got uh, Chicote to do it for a couple of bottles of shampoo. The recipe <laughs> is, is Neelix's attempt at human food from the Alpha Quadrant. That bird's fucking with her head. I think it's I, I think it's the assistant that's the murderer, not her. Yeah, but what gave you that idea? The fact that she's trying to already fuck over her sister. Yeah, I th I kind of thought it was anyway because she was a bit uppity when she was just taking back. notes and shit, weren't she? Back. Eyes yeah. You're in command, and that means power. Use your power. What are you nervous about? That calm look, that's what I want. She's trying to okay, drive her fucking think. mad. Look, Jesus, go on, Hold Jane. Why? So tight. Nothing uptight. You want people to believe you. What the fuck am I watching? What is, what's going on? This is, that's this that's is what the bloke was watching. Fit. That's what the bloke was Lights, watching before he had his accident. Music. Quote unquote, it's accidental heart, heart attack. Now, show me. Accidental hard on. Close your eyes. Yeah. Ac accidental nipple hard on. Hear the music. <laughs> Let your body float with the music. It's almost done. Not so bad. We'll let you take a look at yourself. 
But there's a better part coming. I've been watching. She's got some front inch there, like in his fucking up, going backwards and forwards to his apartment. Like, they ain't even chucked the shit out. Videos. Oh, no, wrong one. Well, the, the thing which got me is like, hang on, is she back in like the thing? Ah, there's a new telly on top, that's where it is. Yeah. Like, the first episode is completely different to these next, like, two, right? Yeah. No. Why did, why did this fucking dumb bitch put the video where she fuck? Why, why did she put the video back? And I couldn't get the cookbook back on the shelf. I mean, it, it's like one of those glaring details you'd think probably you should, like, hide that. Like, the, vi the video that proves you're a murderer, like, maybe a good idea not to put it back. out of the machine. See, I like how like, like she's doing the big. Now usually the villain tells like the the, the, the hero yeah. how they fucked up and what the, the plan is. Like you she's see? telling the villain how the how, how she's fucked up, and it's just I don't get it. Like, are you saying I killed Sid Russell with a he television? He goes around framing people. Huh? Yeah, like, like I said, Time episode go nine is going to be like one cop off. And got the board out. Janeway's been spotted at all and these murders. A lot of suicides. Hillary Clinton's there on the board. <laughs> Unless you're too frightened to move. We come staying dressed. It's all, it all makes sense now. I found these batteries. Behind but we you. saw it. Oh. The, the pistol came out of the television. And, and the wires. Yeah, he probably on acid though. He was probably on like, like she's obviously swapping the pills. An explosion ah. to blow out the screen, timed with your gunshot, to scare Sid to death. Isn't that a little extravagant? Yeah, but this is a TV program. Yes. We've got My editor some... checked with some of his newspaper friends. They found a story about how you used to work in a factory, an electronics factory. Oh. Oh. And then there's oh. this. A citizen's band radio. A citizen's band radio. It's a fucking CB radio. Stop, Stop being so pedantic. You didn't scare him to death, Sister Janice. It only helped. So did this. Another timer. Set for 10.30. We didn't see the her getting this timer. The antenna yeah, when she went next door, it was wall. on the chair. The on top of the CB. Interfering with Sid's pacemaker. That's convenient. Well, uh, that's, uh, so, uh, these are small bits of technology. Can easily be missed. It's not like they're fucking huge. The gun? Yeah, but they were in the other room and the police were too lazy because they'd already decided it was a heart attack. And your motive? Well, nothing suspicious. Time to move on. A CB radio, 10 4, Janeway. <clears throat> Why did you do this? I think because I don't like you. Not at all, Sister Janice. What, so she'd let her get away with the murder if she liked her? I can yeah. tell you, Eve. I think you said no anything about the way you like you, they let you get away with shit. Jane was quite happy to start and end wars really? based on yeah. like how she felt a guy out of bed that day. <laughs> Parable of women. Biggish criminal in the old galaxy. I mean, the days the when, like, CB because the replicate was done, because Jakota was, like, replicating too much Listerine, and she couldn't have a black coffee, or species got wiped out those days. That are it, weren't it? Poor Paris, Paris can't have his pizza, or Kim can't have his fucking egg fried dog. Because Janeway's on an eighth pot of coffee and Chicote sat there fucking <laughs> sniffing bath salts. Chicote <laughs> <laughs> need more bath salts. Right. You're trying to seduce him, weren't you? Wait, for that for them last the two seasons. Are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah. That's well, the well, end. Why? Oh, like what? Oh. Is that the whole thing? Yeah. You know what? Shall we say that's just the end of Mrs. Columbo? She got shot and the murderer got not, away with it. Do you not want to watch it? the yeah. next episode? Caviar with everything. Uh, uh, hang on. Hang on. I need, I need to like, work this out. So not only does it do the whole thing backwards and shows you the murder before it happened, but you also see that like the murderer gets scot-free. Like, Jane Wade just says that I don't like you. Well, she used that's to have why a I'm doing the, this. Did she just handle it herself? Is that what she does now? <laughs> This is what I mean. It's completely different like, to the first episode. Like, but she isn't handling. 
But she isn't handling it herself. She's just saying, I don't like you. And then smiles, and then the credits roll. It's like, well, what happened? <laughs> what, 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 what was the assistant doing? What, what's I mean, happening with this she's, dodgy? She's literally taunting the killer, right? And it's just like with a gun, and you're just like, well, you could be dead there, love. Yeah, but normally, normally <laughs> the idea is that the copper steps out from beyond the oh, door, don't he? And he yeah, goes, exactly. right, you're under arrest now, love. But now she's like, she's got so cocky, she's just going to murder the murder the murderer herself. Well, there's an extended cut to this episode, anyway. Where the copper comes in, and, and Janeway's been bludgeoned with the fucking bedside lamp. <laughs> Something about a daughter. Blood force trauma to the back of the head. It's like, look, we've got four Do, do you think? Do you think uh, uh, someone listening in through a CB radio is going to save you from a gunshot if, it, if it, it's a look, killer? <laughs> I know we were talking and like weren't paying all that much attention, but is anyone in the chat like saying anything about this? Because fuck all, like. The, the dodgy fucking scam artist magicians. What calls happen to them? They're just going to carry on scamming people. No, because she's going to... I think off camera. It's like, you know they say at the end of... Uh, yeah. The end of um, The Killing Joke that Batman murders the Joker. Like, when yeah. I see it. I think this is it. I, th- I think... I think Janeway's fed up of the police let, letting all this shit slip slip all the time, so she's decided to She's a vigilante, to yeah. Yeah, she's got, decided so to... Janeway's, to Janeway's yeah. murdered on both. Yeah. This is why episode nine, episode nine, they've got conclusive evidence that she's a murderer. Right. Let, let's let's try another. Let's try another one. Are we before before it starts? We're taking bets now. Is it going to be crazier ending than the last one, or is it going to make sense? I don't know. Do, do you reckon they're going to start getting older? Because the the showrunner needs, oh. needs to get older this series, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, I think the train's off the track now, and I don't, I don't necessarily know where it's going to go. We're, we're already in episode because three. By the way, that dog is never episode been four shot. of it. They already, they already no, gave no, up by episode bad. three. Yeah. Madame Colombo. Yeah, it's some kind of French version. Kind of foggy version. Yeah. Take Mulgrew. That's her name. Oh, there's that super-powered fucking... <laughs> Do you the iron? Is the, is the iron on? Yeah. I don't know. I'll just lick my finger and touch it because I'm so fucking yeah. nailed. <laughs> I think she's a psychopath. I think the real story like, is that she's a psychopath. Wait. She's... This, why is she sleeping alone in the, in the one The mystery to the marionette? Yeah. What, with two well, French they're both stuck in the air- airport still, Fraser. For God's sake, man. <laughs> it's a single bed, though. Where's the... Where's the, the... The, the double oh things, got, things got that bad in the Columbo household, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> they sleep in separate rooms now. Uh. Erica Yon. Please, please, please tell me it's Cobra. It's co- Cobra's the killer. He's me. got, he's got the. Sure, she's a doll called Sean. Sure, yeah, Tom. yeah, Tonky. I, I already feel creeped out by this episode, so. Oh look, it's a bunch of cripples. Life is but a dream. Life oh god, this is a creepy at all, is it? Fuck it, it's not Mark Hamill. That's not Mark Hamill. Nearly, 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 nearly. Oh what? Hello. Why? Why did oh, eighties fucking ventriloquist no, dummies look so me? creepy? He tries to come here every few months. To be fair, why does the ventriloquist look like Hold a pedophile? Hold on, are we, are we just going to ignore that? Did that mean to say he tries to come here every few months? What? Oh, I think you emphasised the wrong part of that, love. <laughs> he's, ch- he's chucking the murder in this oh, episode. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... I, I, I think this might explain Cobra. You think Cobra wants to... Mrs. Colombo, you want to play a game? You see, it's not Chucky, it's, sure. Chucky, it's Fucky. That's the doll's name, Fucky. Sh- Thank Which you. then gets renamed Sean. He has a haircut and wears a black <laughs> suit. That's Mark Hamill. That looks like Mark Hamill. <laughs> that is Mark Hamill. Yeah. Archie, why don't you tell the kids about your uncle Lester? What, Mo Lester? <laughs> Yo, Mo Lester. <laughs> oh, oh dear, the gun quiet about Uncle, uncle Lester. Lester. Fucking hell. Well, Where did he I touch you, you on the doll? I'm the ventriloquist, <laughs> and you're my partner. I'm sick of being your partner. This has got a bit. What? This is taking a bit yeah, of a turn. Though, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. This, 
This went cold way. fast. I told you, mate. It's <laughs> off the rails. <laughs> you know, it's not. It, it, <laughs> He's having a fucking breakdown. Jesus I Christ. hate you. This will entertain the kids. My once happy child. Like all the parents go, but go back to the nuns. They go. My once happy child wants to commit suicide now. What happened mm. yesterday? Hey, John, where do you work? I'm working the young undertakers. You shouldn't have. I, uh... Nephew, he couldn't come, huh? Oh, my audience yeah, are still. Oh, oh, hey, sure. Business comes first. Hey, what's it, what's that, Mr. Time. Sparky? Have you ever killed no, no, a man? Thank you. <laughs> 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 was there a few minutes for his Aunt Lucy. Have you ever watched so the light in his say, eyes go out? How'd you like today? <laughs> Started with an ingrown toe. It's up on Mickey Mouse, sir. <laughs> Don't worry about me, I'm fine. The pain, they keep it all Didn't inside. She pushed down the stairs this time. I know you. Nobody knows. Who knows? I can just imagine. I don't complain. I keep it all bottled up. You're very brave. People ask me, I say, I'm fine. I don't believe her. She says, Nobody she knows. says you're a bit like my mate Chakotay. He never, knows. he never, t he, he's too afraid to tell anyone no that he's bird. a Native American. Yep. He keeps it to Irish boy. He couldn't come. <laughs> Poor bastard consoles himself in shampoo and mouthwash. Yeah. All right, already. Yeah, you fucking tell him. <laughs> He's a working right. man because he wears an apron. <laughs> Where's the fire? They can't hear you. You've got to pick up the phone first, you prick. Coming. <laughs> who, shouts at, who shouts at people on the phone before they've picked it up? That's what, that's what I'm getting sent in the theme. There's a lot of coming in this episode. It's literally <laughs> Cobra. <laughs> we have video footage of him screaming at his phone when it Vicar. goes a wooga. Oh shit, uh -oh. fucking Mr. All there. But maybe the puppet's no, climbed up inside his arse and controlling him. In eight months. Yeah. That's it. You shouldn't go around letting yourself in, kid. We've had two robberies two in this neighborhood. What'd you give him a fucking key for? You, Okay. Was he was he throwing his you. button pushing or something? I don't, I don't get. How was the doorbell the ringing? Were you already in? I'd rather have had a postcard. Stop it, Preston. It's really quick, mate. It's not magic. I thought of you every day, Victor. Every day, no. You're no lime clown. Unhandy, you fool. I belong to Victor. Yeah, fuck off. Oh. Why is Mark Hamill so George, talented? George, 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 yeah. Very much. <laughs> Or is he like Mark Hamill if he's talented? <laughs> so how's it going with you? Hey, Me? he was the voice of the Still Joker. Of dead. Some ventriloquist, Paris, London, you name it. They want he a new partner. He, they told his, he told his son to get to get to Archie? get his girlfriend to abort their grandchild. He's he's a lovely man. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's what I want to talk to you about, Vic. Oh yeah. Da, da, da. I thought you came back for a refresher. Came back for a refresher. How to throw I killed your boy. some kids, Free Uncle Vic. Vic. They're all cripples. They couldn't <laughs> run away from me. Vic, I can't control him anymore. I've got this human lever. I want you to put on a dolphin. Works, so what? Why is Mrs. Like Columbo got Batman, Batman villain origins? This is the ventriloquist from Batman. I don't mean it? that kind of control. <laughs> what do you mean, kid? I can't make him do what I want him to do. <laughs> I can't make him say what I want him to say. All right, pal. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it out. What the? He hates me. Mark Hamill's got some fucking issues, hasn't he? he? Hates you. How do you know? Gosh, when did this become the Twilight Zone? <laughs> like I just fucking got, puppets, it's, not it's not obeying what what they're they're a fucking puppet. Like this, this has got this has got way off the rails. What happened? Have they got a showrunner, or has he just been absent for a fucking year or something? The previous um, episode it's felt got, it's like... going to end with uh, Scully well, and Mulder running game way over. There's in the first series. Can you imagine what the rest of them were like if they, if these were the only ones they could broadcast? Fucking hell. <laughs> the, the previous episode felt like rejected Look. Twilight Zone. <laughs> Most artists, the only way they can get their work perfect is by making their work a part of themselves. The ventriloquists, people like us, the only way. Are they trying to mystify ventriloquism? 
right. by cutting ourselves <laughs> in half. You reckon this is what Emo would watch before he wanted to become a magician? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he watched well, these two man. episodes back to back. Oh man, well, yeah, he'd drive anyone mad, wouldn't it? Yeah. We don't know. We don't Just these know. two, Ooh, wait till you watch yet. episode five. <laughs> what, the <laughs> fuck, what the fuck is he on about? It's Archie. Esoteric ventriloquism, says Ben West. Oh, he wants to do things I don't want him to do. What Unspeakable you things. <laughs> yeah, he's just he murdering some kids, aren't he? I don't want to do them, Dick. He's gonna murder that fucking. Oh shit, the dude's cracked. Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> if I look at you, look at you. I'm gonna weep. <laughs> I'm too old to weep. You made him the way he is. You what? made him the way he is. <laughs> Help me. I already we watch him, lads. Like, I, know, I know we've seen I the intro. You and... everything I know. <laughs> this is supposed to be like Sunday night. Please. A bit of light murder, isn't it? Like, this is fucking dumb. I tried. The guys agreed with him. Like, <laughs> what? Not to say you mental, mate. What the uh, fuck? <laughs> maybe there was something else in my cider besides alcohol and apples. <laughs> <laughs> what the fudge? It wasn't but me is this one going to be treated? <laughs> was the doll, sir? It was the doll. Uh, and he wanted to play a game. He or... told me. He told me to do it. <laughs> oh my god, is this the. Time, right? Fucking hell. Is this where that meme the... comes from? He told me to do it. The fucking doll. I, I tried to think it, I was is... dark. Think... Weekly what advertising. are you supposed to have a picture? Why is he got a thumbprint? Hang on, hang on. Can you, can you, <laughs> can you reverse that? Just, I want to see the name on that. I'm sure that said Kate Mulgrew. Kate Wait, Columbo. Kate Columbo? Her name's Kate Columbo. <laughs> yeah, but it's not Are they going to treat this one? It hasn't got a picture of her on it. It's got a thumbprint. <laughs> Why? Oh, yeah, that's good on the D, though. Do you reckon that she's one of them actors who, like, it doesn't matter what name you give her on the script, unless you actually right? refer to her as either Kate or Catherine, she, she just know didn't, didn't know you were talking yeah. yeah, she didn't know you were what? talking to her. Yeah, Kate Mulgrew. Kate yeah, Columbo? A neighborhood newspaper. <laughs> Honest. Is this... Trade apart, boys, well, because like, Catherine yeah. Catherine as well, isn't it? She's Catherine Janeway, <laughs> oh, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, Oh, that's yeah. a Kate fucking Janeway. hell, mate. You're a bit slow. <laughs> you're, you're, a, you're a bit slow on the ball. I made that <laughs> point about oh, two oh, minutes sorry, ago. What have we got? Victim is Victim March. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you agreed with me. Puppet things. So, I'm just gonna gloss over the fact that the policeman just goes, Wait, hold on, you're a newspaper, and he's a fucking local. I just love the way the cop is like, he's scared. Ah, it's open in the shed. It's no got prints. paint. It's fucking paint, you can. That's where we found it. Wait, I had to wrestle it off a Native American who kept it. sniffing it. <laughs> not, it's not blood, it's wood varnish. Did somebody just handle a piece of evidence right. without putting their fingerprints on it? I've been over this a bit. He's, he's just afraid of, he's afraid of paint, but he's afraid of varnish. I've told, I've told you this fucking DNA show. Don't exist in this I've told you this fucking showrunner's asleep at the wheel. This boat's gonna hit the dock. <laughs> Here she goes again. Here we go. Here we go. Just fucking wander around the house, opening drawers. At least, at least we know all the coppers are off the July fortnight now. After why, last why, week. Why are police letting them in? Like they're a newspaper. Fucking what? I don't... It's not even a newspaper. It's the advertiser, isn't it? I bet. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on now. <laughs> what is it? It's an Olo Deck episode, Fraser. That's yeah. why none of it uh, makes sense. That's it. They just filmed it 20 years before I Voyager. Holodeck, Holodeck, give me a crackers as fuck uh, murder mystery. No. <laughs> Are you? Wow. And the doctor I mean, keeps yeah, dosing her up with more powerful hallucinogenics to keep <laughs> her under. Well, so they can finally get home. They've realised that she's... Yeah, yeah, she, she's the problem. <laughs> she needs to go, she needs to go on, a vi on a vision quest to find out her true greatness. That's how she gets back. They, they, they have the, what it is, um, he's yeah, Kim's on the, on the wheel now, and he's realised that all these batshit stops and turn around to fucking pillage and steal shit from other civilizations <laughs> hasn't really helped. Well, that's the thing. They have a meeting. It's like, look, Janeway isn't going to get us home. She keeps stopping at every planet to see if they've got yeah. coffee. If Mr. Marge ever told you. And well, there's more times where she literally turns it round. She's like, yeah, we can take you home. Turn it round. He wanted you to have a They'll only add another year onto the voyage. 
Oh god, oh Thanks. god, she's that giving was... him the fucking sword, dummy. Jesus Christ. This fella using the winter play park games. Oh, I wish I could have seen them. Who would win a fight between the Federation the and the world, Empire, you, says King, King the lady, God of Mrs. Pig, Columbia. King of Dog. Thank you. Because which side's got which side's got Janeway? Yeah. Is Janeway has Janeway been court martialed yet? Like if she's on the front lines, Federation, every fucking time. <laughs> She's the berserker, is she? <laughs> nah, she's the Hitler, mate. You've you seen a genocide thing from the Delta Quadrant. <laughs> Have they not interviewed the doll yet? He saw everything. Got everything you need, Mrs. Colombo. Any questions? <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't do what he's asked to do anymore, Emma. No, that's the, the other one that don't do his Whatever the murderer wanted was upstairs. Well, what do you think the murderer wanted? Beats me. Mrs. Stolp said nothing was missing. When you write it up, it's Sergeant Kaplan with a C. Don't you just love it when the cop just tell you everything? Has <laughs> anybody <laughs> ever... <laughs> I've got a feeling that, like, is, that, is Mark Hamill invisible? Is he a figment of, of uh, Columbo's... Mer He's imagine... a figment of Doll's imagination. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. That's where he used to keep clown. Is this, it's good, though. Is this she's there. all she's... the murderers are just figments of her imagination? That's why nobody notices. She's there looking at the crime scene. There's someone there with blood on her hand, <laughs> on her hands, and she's just saying, hold this doll for me a minute. I've got to go check it. <laughs> the first time I wandered in here, I was eight years old. So what do you want? Okay. Oh, dear, that's gonna be there's going to be quite the admission here if he was eight years old watch. when he first wandered in. Oh, no, yeah, oh, that's it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Hamill last seen getting Good the bus, tic bus ticket. He showed me how to do tricks. Good old Jim voice. the puppeteer. Jim said he'll fix me. I didn't want to go home. <laughs> Finally, he threw me out, but I kept coming back. He kept teaching me. And when I was ready, he made Archie for me. When you're ready, boy, I'll show you a thing or two. Jamie reminds me of Anthea Turner. Me back, <laughs> says God, pig. You find some kid as sad as you were, then you make him laugh. I don't think the rebel audience appreciate the Mrs. Columbo as much because they're not talking. No, no. GCHQ. It's you don't want to rumble themselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It it's not Thursday, so they don't care. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're writing all notes down now of how to be an amazing investigative journalist and solve the cases. <clears throat> You've got to antagonise the, the prime suspect by saying that you don't like them. Does, I have to have Omniscience by Catherine Janeway. <laughs> Does the uh, showrunner of this get confused between what journalists do and what coppers do? <laughs> I don't think the the showrunner understands many things about how reality works. I think works. the showrunner said they said, "Hold on, yeah. here we go. We're having a bookcase moment." <laughs> yeah, the police are taking it. It's got blood on it. That's why. Hey, let me lick that murder weapon. <laughs> she blood on now. She can track oh, down no. killers by tape. You want to play a game? <laughs> you forgot hey. the clown. I put him in your car. I saw your license. The fuck? She trying to creep him out? I didn't forget him. He's already Columbo. insane, and she's trying to push him over the edge. He was Jesus Christ! Why? Why? Why is she putting evidence in people's cars? It's <laughs> just wood and paint and wire. It's it's alright. She's left a pa left a kilogram of cocaine that? in the boot. No, uh, I don't think so. I seen you liked all this Jack crack, so I went and put it on your passenger seat. <coughs> What's your daughter's name? Jenny. Oh, don't tell me she's trying to recruit oh, the, no. the creepy guy to do a fucking birthday party. Has she stolen that clown now? Is she keeping? Is she Jenny? I got you a new toy. It's gonna freak the fuck out. I still of you, don't but. understand. Do you understand? No, I don't. I know. Understand. I know you want to on drugs here. And it might be us. I know you wanted that new Atari, but I got you this instead. No oh, fucking hell. Hi, honey, I'm home. What do you mean you're home? You're fucking lazy. The doll guy. sleeps on the sofa. The, sho the doll don't sleep in the bed, mate. <laughs> Bar sleep <laughs> sleeps on the sofa. He's a groin warmer from a groin injury, mate. Are you been out touching other dolls again? 
<laughs> I don't talk to men when I've got my hand up a doll's ass. I can see red hairs on you. I can see red hairs. You mean when that slut kill on doll again? Don't think I don't know. What? You be you cheating kill. on me. The other man's hand up your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending you to Casper, Wyoming. Doesn't matter. So who's the murderer? Is it the doll or is it Mark Hamill? Does now. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to say now. it's the doll, and the doll ended up in Casper, Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> it's now it was last seen on a train in Casper. It's yeah. now vaguely sentient. It now, ru it now rules Cobra's sad, pathetic what life. What's going to be the moral of the story? Oh, you can't hide behind a, a fucking doll. Is that is that? Oh, like um, it's 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 leave all these wee woo cases to Scully and Moldar. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's stay in your fucking lane, Jane Way. What the fuck is she doing now? She's worked out there's a chisel missing, and she has to draw that to do it. But she hasn't worked out that some chisels are wider than other chisels. Lads, why are we watching this again? Can you, ex can you explain what, what, the, what the point of value is? I, I, I have a bad trip. What's the that's, dog that's be, Good job you're not on LSD watching it's this, glamour. isn't it? Oh, oh and now yeah, the but, fucking creepy weirdo murderers come round for coffee. I hope you don't mind. With oh, her no. cousins. She, but, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It, it, come in, come in. Look at he's come to a special like performance the kid at two in the morning. But Catherine Jamie has to share a copy of that one. Yeah, but did you see the pained expression on her face when it's like, what, I have to share my coffee with someone? Can I get you anything? How about some coffee cake? Thank you. I can only stay a minute. You were asking about a photo of... Is she... You know how... trailer part, boys, of it? Uh, Conky. Donkey. But it's Sean. Mummy! Can we? Mummy, what the fuck? She's stolen that I doll from a crime a scene. What the this fuck, is Noel man? It's okay. Children can copy with the chisel. I thought, it, I thought it would quiz in. Now, now watch. Watch this guy get jealous of the girl like playing that? with the doll. You know? Fucking, I'm that's not. what's going to happen. But a shit make him work. <clears throat> Let's take or the look. doll's going to get jealous of being oh, played fuck. by the... Oh, fuck. Here we go. He's going to creep everybody out now. Well, what's the matter, old buddy? Are you being shy with Jenny? Jane, where you going to wake up with a ponytail and a fucking engine? You want to play a game? <laughs> and you like Mrs. Colombo. <laughs> fucking handcuffed to a bastard. What's Logan's yeah. run with Jenny yeah. Gutter's boobs? Oh. Jenny Gutter's boobs are great. <laughs> Looks like a sore throat to me. How about I take him home and make him better? You want to come home with me? No. Oh, honey. So I'm trying to nick my fucking Nick doll. Yeah. <coughs> oh, Nick, that fair and square. Very much. And now he wants yeah. to go and live with Mr. Rabbit. Find his keepers, leave his jeepers. Would that be all right with you, Jenny? The price was to die for. <laughs> 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 Do you know Archie, that fellow I work with? Do you know what it'll cost you? It'll cost you your soul. What if Archie and I have a party here for your friends? Oh, you like fucking that? hell, the creepy puppet man's gonna do a party for a load of kids, Good. a load of girls. Good, and that's what right. we'll do. Okay? Yeah. Does anyone even like, like yes, the puppeting thing? I think it's creepy and like, oh, who the yeah. fuck likes that? Little Miss uh, There's two people I can think of. One's Bubbles, the other one's Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but can you really class them as people? Yeah, of course you can. Archie, smart girls. Yeah, and they're pretty too. Sucks cocks in hell! Wait, is he just saying there's a little pretty girl? I don't want to hold that again. sucks cocks on the holodeck. It's the hallucination! You're in the holodeck! Archie. Help me! Dead men tail no tails. What do you think about that? They're heading towards the Alpha Contranet, Warp Factor 5! <laughs> Let's go back! We gotta go back! Okay, that's very funny, Archie. <laughs> Dead men can't talk, is that funny? What? Oh, fucking hell. He's having one of his fucking <laughs> turns. <laughs> 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 clown, 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 clown. 
it's that magician from the previous episode. She's been swapping his medication as well. <laughs> we don't realise that this was a two-parter. Can you stop creeping the kids out, mate? I love the way those triple kids, not one of them has done that bloke okay, actually who wants fucking creepy. Okay, who wants ice cream Oh, nice scene yeah, transition. Oh yeah, the you creepy psychopath. Who wants ice cream Man, we just need to run out. You'll have a ventriloquist and you'll fucking like it. He was, he was free. He's doing this for free and you will enjoy it. I want more ice cream. I want more cake. I want more ice cream. I want more cake. I'm okay, okay. I'm going to give you some. Here it Hold comes. On. Is he ventriloquist in his cock now, is he? Is he, is he he's just getting it. a bit creepy and weird now. No. What the fuck is that noise? Jenny. I just wanted to see. I don't care what you wanted to see, young lady. You do not touch other people's things. Oh, that's a rich coming from you, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, the minute she picked up, it was hers, though. That's what you don't get. That was her thing now. You can nick clown dolls, but you can't nick Archie. Nick clown dolls, you can't nick Archie. But nick clown dolls break into people's houses. Oh. Jenny got intrigued. St I was just steal, like, you know, cassette tapes. What did he say? Excuse me? <laughs> oh, God. Are the, are the alarm bells not fucking ringing in her head yet? It's like, hold on a minute. Maybe this, ki maybe maybe this geezer shouldn't be around kids. I'm sorry. He was free, just lads. Like, She's not like questioning that. I love, I love the way the bit with like, dead men tell no tales didn't didn't ring a single alarm bell in her, but this bit does. Remember, it's only mummy that can steal stuff, Jenny. Yeah. Try <laughs> good news, Mrs. Colombo. Do as I say, not as I do. Nice firm journals. I love every word of it. What's my bad news? Your bad news is my good news. There's an extra ad going on the same page. Cut the story in half. 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 Yes, sir. Can I ask what you are writing? You may ask. I'm writing a letter to my daughter. Oh. Is it me or can I see grey in her hair already? She's only about fucking 30. I just feel embarrassed. This. Two R's, two S's. How do you spell schizophrenic? S-C-H, one Z, no T. What does it mean? Split personality. What the fuck? Not much I know, I want the rest. I don't know what schizo means. What's so special about schizophrenia? I met someone. A ventral fucking investigate a locker. I don't know what to make Doesn't know what a schizophrenic is. Wait, hold on. That's how would she know what a schizophrenic is, but not know... What it means. I, I, do, I just know just ask, I don't know what it means. I was working on the Vancouver yeah, Sun. If you, you would need to know what it means, ask like, oh, about schizophrenia, right? right? Otherwise, you just ask. Ever give you any oh, advantage? do you know any of things where people talk to because things or whatever? Come on, they, they, come on, they, they've not exactly got the best, most thing. coherent stories. They've got a string an hour out somehow, lad. Then suddenly they're yelling at each other. She was twenty-five when she did this. Ended up oh, with wow. him smashing his dummy's well, head on the floor. <laughs> had to drag him off the stage. You're right, she never it, aged. She's been 40 for all her life. Hang on, you, you, you're taking... No, there's no way she's 25 there. 1955 she was born. This was 79 to 80. So if you want to be really pedantic, she was probably 23 when she filmed this. <laughs> Sergeant Campbell. She's in the, She's a vampire, man. <laughs> <She must be. laughs> just, just straight, straight out, straight out yeah, of puberty. Sure. Just forty. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> that is some. That is bad genetics. That is. Yeah. Is it bad genetics or is it good genetics? Because she still looks the same age. I've been thinking about Victor. Rush day. Is he not pitched to the now? Me too. Oh. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's my night off. How do you think the murderer got in? I don't know, Mrs. Uh, Colombo. Walton? On consideration, I'd say that he came right through the door. I Fucking to hell, that. Peter Falk was 28 when she lock. was born. The murderer knocked on the door. Victor let him in. <laughs> oh. 
So then Victor must have known him. Maybe yes, maybe no. He knew Noel Abbott. Hmm? Mrs. Colombo. Excuse me. You play this guy Hang on, sir. So she's 23. It looks like she's got like an eight year old Fine. daughter as well. So what? Oh, <laughs> what the fuck oh, was Columbo doing? Was Fine. he was he was he fulfilling Brewer's yeah. prophecy, was he? So was I. He, he's the real Brewer's diary. Strange talk. <laughs> so was Clown. The Columbo wow. diary right. is ultimately a selfish story. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it, but in my defence, Judge, she looked thirty at the age of thirty in the picture. Picture, exactly like that. I, I, I see, I see what you say here. Too much, and clown never talks at all. Maybe that's because he's a dummy. So, the Sargon defence passes this time. Talk to the dummies. I mean, Mr. Abbott, I think clown has something to do with it. It depends on the age of the Kate Wilson. This is Columbo. I appreciate you. You see, I can't go barging in, understand? I can't examine his dummies without a warrant. I can't get a warrant without the DA. The DA can't get a warrant without the judge. And I won't tell the judge that the dummies won't talk. I won't do that. Sergeant. Is she going against game? the woo woo now? Is Will she? you do it? If I sink the other ball. It took her a lot less time than did Scully, copper. didn't it? She's going to fuck that <laughs> copper. I'm telling you. Columbo needs to watch his what back. What will you do if you she? don't? Like, where's well, her kid? Is her kid? kid still at home, like, trying to cook oh. eggs? What yeah. you don't realise is, is that's not really a kid. That's Columbo's Always next victim. Captain, <laughs> so your get a Columbo's pick. next wife. Yeah. Hmm. Shoot. Shoot. Fucking hell. The only thing she's going to do is rip the fucking film. My husband taught me. Oh, yeah. Oh, Remember you're you married? Mean? You do. Yes. <laughs> Why? Because yeah, Columbo found her in a bar at the age of 13 looking <laughs> looking. That's a terrible 40. joke, Archie. You look, you look, you're terrible. But, well, you look of age. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Just, the more, that's the the more I, I hear, the more... Just the sort of look... The more, the more you look into it, the more it doesn't mm. make sense. Under the circumstances. <laughs> mm. Oh, that it does make sense, and it's horrible. Mr. Rabbit. Rabbit. Yeah. Remember where you were on the day of the murder? It makes Brutus look tame. I had breakfast with yeah. my agent. Yeah. I did a show at St. Anne's Hospital. Did some errands and went to see Victor. Murdered a man. You are already No, there. I didn't do that. Thank you. You smoke these? You smoke these? Yes, once in a while. Yes, Thank you. Caught me fist up some orifices, hey, and then me. I played with my doll for a bit. When I grow up, I want to be a ventriloquist. They'll fucking kill you, Tim. Do you think Mark Hamill uses this in his portfolio of work? I think he likes to pretend. You were a little girl. We hid your medicine in a glass of milk. Do you think, like, when he was being cast for that role in, in the Star Wars Disney film, they're like, hmm. We've seen your work with the is dummy. That, is there an alternate universe where there's uh, Powerland Mark Hamill and Kate Mulgrew are in Star Wars? <laughs> Sweetheart, go see who it is. Yeah, she's one of the fucking Wookiees. Well, that's because you got no faith in your smart mommy. <laughs> well, at least she's been home with her daughter for once in her life. Onion salt? Onion salt? Worcestershire sauce. Mm. Mm. Lucky dog. Worcester. Worcester. Yeah, and I'm doing it. Last secret ingredient. That dog bowl she's making it in. That's, <laughs> That's why the dog bowl. Well, it is. She's so fucking. Uh, Mrs. Columbo, I'm sorry. The dog's eating the kids' food. Oh, hi. Hold it, sir. Oh, is he a fussy eater? Is that what's going on? That's poor fuss. You're right. He is too smart. Oh, Smarter than you. It's not true. We ain't eating it. I told you. 
Well, my little darling, somebody has to eat this pill. Have you had your dinner yet? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I haven't. You're off the hook. Is she, off is she offering drugs to a cop? <laughs> Working pills. San Diego. So you have just saved... Is it like she's, she's moved to that part today. of the lake, you know? That's very nice. <laughs> Tell me nice. Tell me about Noel Abbott. I talked to him. And? You won't want to be eating any of the food she's got to made now, would you? But here it is. No oh, habit is a no, very nice it. young man. She was all quiet now and watched him eat. He was performing. Columbo gets home later because where the fuck's my kid? Archie dinner? is a nice dumb. Aren't you eating any of this? Oh no, I just enjoy watching you eat the food I've prepared. What about clown? Mmm, that is marvelous. There is no clown. The clown was not even in the apartment. He had to be. Why did Mr. Abbott take him back? Because it's not yours, you fucking thief. Like, why is that copper not going? Hold on a minute. Why is that clown done? Yeah, but it's, I think I just. But it's it not. The, it's not Mark Hamill's either. You know what I mean? They've all <laughs> nicked this fucking clown. I loved you, Vic. Oh dear. I loved you, Vic. I'm okay now. They even let you puppeteer me, Vic. <laughs> The grass grew fast on that grave, didn't it? I never thought I'd watch Mrs. Columbo and thought I'd, I'd take an, accidentally take a harsh mind bending drugs. Be right back. Mrs. Columbo's a pool hustler. <laughs> What, you're going to inspect the ground now? Why? D does she just like going through the effects of... Is, is this... Oh, I don't know. She's a, she's a method investigator of it. Of it. You've heard of it, method actors. What it is is she's now going to dig a hole and get in it to get into the mind of a dead person. That's it. Like she was in the bed just going like, if I took my feet off and swung my foot to the telly... Uh, why does that rose have Tim Ford around it? Oh, no, no, no. What is she doing? I don't get how this it has anything to do with it. Um... Well, that seems like 50% of the programme. <laughs> yeah, but normally, normally I, I get what's going on, but this one I don't. Uh, do you get what went on last episode, then? Yeah. Not really, no. I don't believe well, I don't you. Know, I don't know I'm why they killed the bloke. I never, I never got to that part. I just I feel like now. it's been a collective hallucination. With <laughs> well, the... You can't hurt me anymore. Arguably, would you not say that you don't understand what's going on in the murder program if you don't know why they killed the victim? No. It is kind of don't important. Don't kid yourself, big shot. Don't kid yourself. Hey, hold on a minute. Was, how, did, how was it Fraser's gone? I don't know started to make it. Ah. Well, I've never seen Fraser and the dummy in the same room before. That is true. And if you notice, oh fuck, it is Conky. <laughs> it's it's Con it's Conky and an, an elaborate in joke about Mrs. Columbo. I I got a feeling that Mike Clattenburg might have been watching this. Yeah. Yet again, another fucking murder murder scene. Someone can walk in and fucking do as they please, as they want. At, at least this one, at least the police have actually declared this one a murder scene. Which is more than they normally do. Oh shit. Oh, she's going to do the bit now. Right, where well, she's helping herself to nick more stuff as well. Yeah. That's it. Oh my god, is she doing ventriloquism now? You would have to ask the king of the potato people. Is she, is she gonna... <laughs> this is just a fever dream, isn't it? Your punishment it... four hours W O O <laughs> without oxygen. 
This is just all a fever dream, isn't it? All a fucking Miss Columbo. Oh, no wonder the poor thing didn't get past one season. I, pause it. I thought that was a very oh, was dramatic the doll. pause. The doll, the doll was doing things <laughs> was that you didn't want it to do. I'm trying to savour the episode. His face is broken. Don't touch him. I'm sorry. What do you want? I oh, want so oh shit, I left my milk in the car. At least it's not too, um... Help all at least it's not too... Shit. I better bring that in the fridge. Who killed Victor? I don't know. This cloud? You must have seen it. Remember, this is where you told me he used to sit. Where Archie is. What did you find him? At the cemetery. Someone buried him. In a box. Next to Victor. She's digging up fucking cemeteries now. Like, she really they don't give a fuck about the law, does she? No. And it was a rose for too. No wonder journalists take the piss now, you know what I mean? They've been getting away with this shit for decades. I can't keep getting away with Same it. Same kind of gold foil. No. Wrapped like this. I bought some roses for my husband's aunt at the same florist who does them this way. Because he's her husband who can't be named. No. For legal reasons. Why would someone be... Yeah, Anne's group have killed him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Has Hobbit gone for the big reveal? Why has everyone gone before the big reveal? These chisels. I had to get the milk. Oh. Uh, yeah, but we've seen moment. the big reveal. This is the thing with Mrs. Yeah. Columbo. The big reveal was within the first two it's minutes of the program. That day we were down here. You put them back like this. And you left this place empty. I wondered about that. I tried to work it out in my head why you'd leave that place blank. Because only... The murderer knew that that was the place with the chisel that killed Victor. Oh my god, that's flimsy at best, isn't it? Does she not realise that there tends to be fucking sizes? And like, you, when, when you make a rack, you do it in mind that a certain size sits on a certain peg. I think she's using their woman brain. Is she, why is she tackling the murderer alone again? Hang on, what's this? Yeah, I'm getting a text saying Fraser was last seen buying Archie. a ticket to the puppet shop. Archie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Clown. I don't know what that's about. Clown can't talk. Clown talk tonight. Dead men don't talk. Clown isn't dead. Bury him. His voice was cut. Mrs. Phelps said the clown was talking in the park. But then no cut clown's voice. Is she talking to the puppet now? I love how it's not showing the geezer when the puppet's talking. Because I, I doubt he, he can actually do the ventriloquism bit. They were here. Right here. The day Victor was killed. So she's decided to, to confront a schizophrenic murderer alone Don't with no backup. Tonight, because I fixed him. She ain't very bright, is she? She's, uh, your overconfidence is your weakness. With this. The wire was cut here, no. A wire? So his mouth wouldn't work. Oh. So the witness couldn't talk. Oh my God, she's bought into no, his delusion. No, we could do that to you tonight too, Archie. It... So you'd never talk again. My God, they got some powerful hallucinogenics in the doll quadrant. <laughs> she's gonna whip out. She's gonna whip out the flex tape now and fix no, the doll. Me. Kill 
You were here that day. Before the police came. To be fair, you don't really need to detect it. It's kind of obvious that he was here. And that was the last time Mark Hamill ever acted. I was, Archie. It's gonna do the abrupt fucking credit thing again, isn't it? No, it's gonna it's gonna weird weird monologue now. Then Oh, it's weird, isn't it? It's like, you know, oh riding on the high of uh, the last Jedi. What was that one with the Ewox? Return oh. of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Pulled apart. No, it's like, hey, we got you this acting role. It's a brilliant show. It's called Madame do, Columba. Do you think George Lucas watched this and he thought it was Mark Hamill, so he employed Mark Hamill, even though it wasn't. All I wanted to be was. <laughs> this isn't Mark Hamill. No, it's not Perfect. Mark Hamill. Who is it then? I don't know. Some game. Hamill Mark. Is it Mark Hamill's brother, Mike? Yeah, the lesser <laughs> Hamill. <laughs> I feel like Peter Hitchens, but the Hamill equivalent. It's not an uncommon problem. You're mad! <laughs> That's it! Oh, yeah. Fucking... So, so... That's it! What is the point of the show then, lads? Because I don't get, like... They do the big reveal at the beginning, and the, like, the copper never gets the fucking geezer at the end, it just rolls to credits, like... And there is no conflict and resolution. Confront the murderer, and don't, don't ever, you know, like... Uh... Yeah, it's okay to be schizophrenic and murder people, yeah. I guess. It's okay, the... You see, murderers, once they've killed someone, they won't kill again, so it's okay yeah. to confront them without any backup or weapons. Oh, who's that? Was that was he David Himes? Was he no? I no, think that I think was, Nap was the was the copper. Oh yeah. Hey, hey! Have you noticed Fraser's come back now? The puppets are gone. Yeah. What does that mean? Fraser was last seen buying a ticket to the puppet shop. <laughs> do you want to? Watch, do, you want to watch, do, we, do we want to finish this one off with the last episode of series five and see if it gets any more insane? Series five. Sorry, There's five series. Five, series this? one. Episode five of series right. one, so I got it wrong. Way. And I was say, did you know we skipped all of series one, two, three? These titles four. are the wrong way round. Because what? Series one, episode three is a riddle for puppet puppets, whereas series four, which you just watched, is caviar with everything. Like I think these are the wrong way round. <laughs> now we know why I didn't get a second. <laughs> yeah, should we watch a puzzle for profits? Yeah, go on then. Let's do it. But that'll have to be it for me. Yeah. I don't think I can take much more, neither. This is fucking insane. This is off the, ch off the chain. You are a glutton for punishment. I don't know, I don't know so far... It gets any more bizarre or whether the show, show in the final gets a fucking hang on it. You're supposed to think I'm I, I mean... If I had a choice between watching Voyager again or watching another episode of this. I'd watch another episode of this because I want to know how bad shit we can get. I, I, I too am intrigued now. I, I want to know if this just becomes the X, straight up becomes the X file. What I need to know is, is, is how were they given the green light on any of this? Did no one sit them down and say, like, you, you're not doing the fucking murder mystery bit properly? You think Mr. Cohen said, trust me, it'll be fine. And they were like, oh, well, Cohen says it'll be fine. Let Just green light and give all the money they want. By Kate Columba. This is, a, this is how Benny, Benny Off and Wise's granddad got started. He would have a script, they were showrunners for this. Well, J.J. Abrams is granddad then. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, he I like to point out to the audience, this was written by people before the screenwriters all went on strike and lost their jobs. Mr. A Caviar. What does it, that mean? Well, to wasn't this supposed caviar? to be the... Yeah, this is, this is, this is yet again, not the right one. Yeah. Why are all the titles in French? It's some... Yeah, but why are the titles in French, but the language isn't? 
I, I don't Did get it. Is is the I mean, there's no sort of aspersions that she's French or of Louisiana or something like that. I did think it was is cool this, that Donald... So, so what happened? They, they did 25 episodes and only five of them are broadcastable because they're so fucking batshit. Hello. As little as that, was it? I love you, Richard. The, uh, the, were these like Hello. the least insane of all the episodes they made? I know. I want you to come back. I know. Will you come back? We've tried all that. I haven't even begun to try. Oh, dear. But I oh, know fuck. you'll come back. Good night, my darling. Nutter. I want you to consider salmon mousse and aspic. Contemplate asparagus for your taj and mushrooms stuffed with escargot. Think about shrimp puffs. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Think about a nice fucking television, big fucking television. How am I doing? Is my inferiority complex showing? Oh. Think about a gram of heroin. Just call Sibyl and Patty. Could you go for that right now? No, you've been watching this. Viking daggers. I think it's the only thing which is going to take me up this bad trip. <laughs> you might take the edge off, Mrs. Columbo. Well, as, as, as resident Scotty man might be able to sort you out with that. The bigger the better. If we were to charge less, Mrs. Fischetti would buy her party from someone. Probably want some of the good stuff, mate, and none of that black tar that you sell to that nonsense in fucking Cambodia. You see, Uber Mensch thought it was Mark Hamill as well. He says, was it the human hand inside the door? Was it his Darth Vader hand? Well, Alphabet Cat says it's Jay Johnson. Uh, you're wrong. You're wrong on both of them. It was your strong hand. Apparently, Jay Johnson is a well-known ventriloquist and comedian. Okay, then I bet, I bet that's in his career. No end of good. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, what we need you to do is to make everybody scared of ventriloquist dolls for decades is this an to come. Episode of it in the in the. Yeah. Is this the yeah, trying is. to get through to it? Are they all trying to get through to her? Like Odo was in I the first one trying to get help her. So well, you see, this is how powerful hallucinogenics are because Catherine Janeway, she's eating Neelix's food without violently vomiting or having dysentery. <laughs> no, what, what, no, you're just are not you seeing the end result, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're wrong there, Robert. I think they've just stripped her down and someone's got to go in there and hose her down. Like, Ensign Kim has to hose her down every now and again. Oh. They're giving her a sponge bath to a tied up body. No, not a sponge bath, just a hosing off. Hey, they're in the future. Can't they just, like, teleport all the grease and grime from her body away? How you girls do it. Nah, the solid shower don't work anymore. Will I see you tonight? She can't have used all the real energy up to fucking 3D prints in mouthwash. <laughs> deal, Sybil? Mm -hmm. Whose deal? Yours and mine. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Buy me out. Why should I? You enjoy the business. You know how. I'll enjoy the money. Mm. I know how to do that. But how can I give up a partner like you? Someday you'll cater my wedding. Oh? Anyone I know? I'm speculating. He's about fucking 40. When's she getting married? Who's she going to marry? I'll be quite happy. Huh? I'll let you know. No, it's another Jane way, mate. It's a, it's a tragic case. She's only 17. <laughs> 17 really in the gay scene. You better, kiddo. That's a nice carafe of water. Okay. Call Desmond and son. Tell them I want that watch. The $2,600 one. And I want it engraved. To Richard, welcome back, darling. And tomorrow's date. As, uh, as Hunter S. Th did Hunter S. Thompson get sacked from writing these after last episode, then, did he? 
<laughs> I think William S. Burroughs might be in the writing credits too. <laughs> so, David Cronenberg watched this and it was his inspiration for Naked oh, Lunch. <laughs> No, the other one. No, the other one was his inspiration for uh, uh, video drone. Video drone. Yeah. Saw was inspired by this. <laughs> Saw. Saw was oh look at her nicking the caviar. She said that I, was I'm... about three grand worth, didn't she, on the spoon? It, yeah. Also, I'm told that you can't use a metal spoon with caviar because it makes it go rotten. What is it? Uh, the, the, the the metallic the, the metal penetrates through the eggs. I don't think it makes it rot. It does does do something to it though. So you can use a gold spoon, horn, or wood. Yeah, I think that's why you had ivory spoons, didn't you, for a while? I, I suppose you can also use plastic. But, um, I think it's pineapple. <laughs> Oh, Fucking man color. fat, ain't it, mate? Like man fat, fat and caviar. Hey, this is dead classy. I'm putting caviar all over everything. <laughs> Not classy, it's rip off, mate. That one dog caviar, 10 grand. Yeah. That lobster, new mortgage on your house. All the happy music, I bet she's about to get bludgeoned in the back of the head by the schizophrenic fucking gold man. Now we established this with last episode, it's all fair. If it's not nailed down, Janeway can have it. Yeah, but Lizzie can't. Yeah, how dare you touch someone else's property, Lizzie? Yeah, I taught you better than that. Man. I've seen you do it loads of times. Yeah, but that's for your dad. I don't go and put my arm up unknown orifices. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't got Crisco or Vaseline on your arm. Well, she's got, got to serve waitress and shit like that to make ends meet now. What's going on? Has her egg, egg addiction come back to bite her, has it? No, nah, she's doing community service for nicking stuff from crime scenes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the copper finally said she can't keep getting away with it. What would Neelix think of this display of food, uh, Alphabet Cat says? <laughs> He'd be fuming, mate. Some are edible. They'd have to eat that before they ate his cooking. Flirting, How's it going, Patty? Madhouse, we're short oh, on time tonight. Well, we can't be. Right. You tell Mrs. Fischetti. Oh, Janeway wants snoo snoo. Did you eat those all yourself? Yes, I did. And um, what, mate? Yeah. Did you just give all the caviar to the children? She can't get enough of it. It's all she eats now. She doesn't want chocolate. She doesn't want more. Big calf, then, if you've heard of Big yeah, Fat. Of you big calf, mate. You'll eat caviar and you'll fucking love it. Yeah. I'll have that. That's mine, that is. Okay. Hi. You taking notes? Taking trays. Well, would you take this one, please? Put it somewhere really nice. Right. Thank you. Excuse me. Is he stitching Janeway up or something? Yeah, Janeway, you've nicked all this caviar that's found its way into my pocket. Or is she poisoned? I thought she put it somewhere really obvious. She put it like as far away as you possibly can from where everyone is. Thank you. Yeah. Patty? Come on. What's happening? Celebration. Mm. 
Yours? And mine. Ah, uh, poison. Do you want to sell? Yes. yes. I want to buy. Corner out the business, yeah. isn't she? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> May it always be like this for us. Champagne yeah, and Before, I was thinking we were. No, no, we're thinking we are getting a bit into the episode and she ain't seen the killer kill the person yet. Was going a bit out of form. Champagne yeah, with caviar. Too. No, that's a fatal combination. Oh, yeah. fuck, it is actually a fatal combination. What is? What was that? Well, caviar. everyone knows that caviar and champagne's a binary <laughs> poison. The two together, <laughs> fine. Oh, no. Sybil, I'm going to be sick. Come on, let's get you out of here. You're, you're telling me this was served by a black woman? I'm going to be sick! <laughs> Wait, if they replaced the caviar with dog poo? Patty, I can't find any more to take me down here. I checked the truck. We're a whole rack short. That's possible. I... They, they just, like, put a bit of soot on it so it looks dark. No. She'll be fine. She just needs some air. Let me worry about the daggers. I'll be Nearly right back. Nearly shit. That's what it is, mate. Yep. Oh, she smells the case. You alright? Just let me get the door. Okay, can you get in? All right, now just sit there and breathe deeply. I'll be right back. Easy. You don't get fucking food poisoning instantly. Um. Maybe it's an allergic reaction to having uh, a black waitress. Surely she'd know that fucking party, fish eggs are a, a, a shellfish, wouldn't she? I think it's that scene in Little Britain where they're like, Oh, these scones are lovely! Yes, I used Ainsley Harriet's recipe! Oh, oh no, Marjorie, please don't be sick. She's on her way home right now. Oh, now listen, you hold the fort. I'll be right back. For King and Cut. Okay, she was she was at the rail crossing to time it, wasn't she? Uh. So incapacitate her, leave her at leave her at the. Um, and then Nick called the caviar. Yeah. We fought for everything we ever wanted, you and I. The only difference is... Hold on one fucking minute. Not only are they showing you the murder, but they, but now she's giving you the fucking motive as well. What's the point for watching the rest of this programme? <laughs> oh, it's to figure out how Janeway's going to unravel the mystery. I'm still fighting. Well, so I had this question two episodes ago, and it was like, nah, let's see, <laughs> let's see how more off the rails it can go. Me yeah. too. Quite literally going off the rails right now, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to think the uh, the quick mystery bit from Rick and Morty's uh, interdimensional cable is this. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm the killer. I did it. Here's the weapon. And cuff me. I'm not going to kill your wedding, Patty. There isn't going to be any wedding. So you what? It's an interesting format to the murder mystery where you take away all the mystery in the first half of the show. <laughs> there are a couple. And then you just have a fumbling Kate Mulgrew. But I trusted you. Yeah, but at least they catch, like, the, the Midsummer Murders sort of thing does it, but they catch the killer in the end. This just has Janeway saying that she don't like them and it rolls to credit. <laughs> I'm By any chance was Brutus on that train? You haven't murdered her yet. Love, love, you ain't fucking murdered her yet. Why did you run off like that? Yeah. What? The 
Viking daggers have arrived. All's well in the world again. All the caviar's mine. Isn't it a lovely evening? What? It's been replaced with dog poo. What the fuck? What's going on? That didn't get hit by the oh, where train. Like, where's the car that you drove off in, love? You don't ask no questions like that. <laughs> what, are you expecting this to have plot and logic? And, and yeah, are you expecting this to make sense? You loved her. Damn this is all from, like, the mind of Catherine Janeway when she's doped up on Delta Quadrant hallucinogenics. Romulan Ale. That's it. No, what it is, is she's, she's in the other deck and Chakotay's trying to give her a vision quest. He just keeps pouring mouthwash down her throat. <laughs> it changed my whole day. Just Jane, where your mouth smells of shit, drink mouthwash. My fault. I dropped my purse. And what it is, is this, this, the episode's getting more convoluted, it's because there's less and less oxygen getting to a brain and nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> She was leaving the business, you know. We had just decided last night. Oh, she just did. Whole new life about it. They're making a right it's fucking hub it. You've done this sort of stuff yeah. before. They're, They're making a right hash of putting that on that fucking trailer, aren't they? Yet, her no, I, I don't know. I never... This is is like, making a big mistake. She's explaining her motive right to the number one uh, fucking journalist sleuth. Whoever the higher that, brain that, operator is on that has as much experience as I do. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what's he keep lifting it up and down for? Like, why can't he just put it on there? Oh no, it's a bit tricky. I, I, I think what they're doing is is a bit like with yeah. eating in films. Janeway's just run off to go do it for him. She's going to show him how to do it. Yeah. Fucking hell, finally. No, no. Like it's it's like when they chase the food on the plate in the scene because they can't eat it. It's that's literally like um, a Family Guy where he's trying to put the frog. Me, he's trying to throw the frog, frog yes. out. I was just telling Mrs. Colombo here. We don't have any information about a fur coat. A coat? Oh, I know you've forgotten about it. Your mink coat. You put it around Patty last night and you didn't have it when you came back with the daggers. Oh, I don't care about the coat. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, did she take the coat either, back? Man. Oh, no. Sorry. She's ac she's accidentally solved it. Well, See, this, is, is, now. this is the yeah. other thing they do really poorly here. Well, is like, she has the, she has, they, oh, no, there's the clue to solve it all along, and it just takes like half an hour for the penny to drop, doesn't it? Hello, Sybil. Well, you have to have half an hour for for Miss Colombo not to like the person and then actually give a shit about solving the case. <laughs> you need a personal dislike to dislike to kick in. Oh, well, taking that bird was supposed to marry this geezer and now she's going to move in. Is it? Is this just a single white female? <laughs> We don't need to get them to divorce their old man if you kill them before they marry them. Yeah. A streamlining, that is. Yeah, but she's fucked that one up. If she lets him murder him, if, if if she lets them two get married, then she murders her, then she has her money plus his yeah. money. I know you wanted me, Sybil. Yeah, but then he's already no, spent money on the wedding. And Think about it. I, <laughs> I just couldn't live like that anymore. That agreement you asked me to sign before we were married business agreement business Richard agreement. belongs to Sybil but nothing belongs to Richard it was humiliating and so I left you I just forgot to take one thing into consideration and what was that Richard I love you oh my god that's a terrible bit of dialogue <laughs> oh please oh. Look Come on, we didn't say anything different. The, the writing Jeez. in this is dog shit. <laughs> look at the healthy glow on our skin. This makes Marvel look good. Yeah. It... See, there Which you go. Like some... uh, Nerdrotic's well, wrong. Uh, TV's always... Been... Star... Star Wars is dead. Good evening, Mr. We've seen this last dead. episode, but we can't believe it's not Mark Hamill. 
Bedtime is <laughs> Columbo is dead. It's a mathematical fact. Why? Because my father and I have some very important business to discuss. Daddy's coming home early for a change. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Oh, is he actually going to appear in an episode? Uh, <laughs> nope. <Excuse me. laughs> Why don't just drop any pretend she's married? It's like, shower. okay, we get, we, yes, we get you doing the bit now. Yeah. He does. She's yeah. a strong, independent yeah. woman, you know. Yeah. At the age of 23, <laughs> married with an eight-year-old kid. <laughs> well, how do you feel about caviar? Are we saying Columbo was porking her when she was What's 14? Caviar? Fish eggs. Yeah. Mm. That's what you well, I think yeah. the fucking what casting directors must have just looked for and says, oh, my condolences. <laughs> You're 23, we're gonna cast you as a 40 year old woman. Is that caviar? That was caviar. Why's everybody stealing the fucking caviar? Door. Yeah, it just seems to be hey, help yourself to as much caviar as you want. <laughs> to fill your caviar is the euphemism. It's the euphemism for something. Want to see. It's Kate full of pockets, yeah. Colombo. She's a thieving bastard. Isn't Did that book just sigh? Well, at least he's still got the stolen bottle of fucking champagne anyway. Mommy! Is she in a single bed in the What's dining that? room? What? what? Do you reckon the do you reckon you reckon the dog's gonna get poorly and die now? Yeah. Oh, might do. Do I still have to go to bed? Not if you watch television. Yippee! Oh, God, what's going on now? Kate, dear, how can I tell you how touched I was by all your consideration? The coat you asked about wasn't in Patty's car at all. It was in That's a nice plot device. Gun, she gave it back before she drove away. For me, it would always be a painful reminder of last night. I don't suppose we'll be seeing much more of each other. We both have our own lives to live. So please accept this little parting gift as a simple thank you. Oh, oh it's the fur coat from the victim. No, it's her fur coat, but she put it around the victim to appear caring. Oh, okay. And then she were rumbled when they realised that fucking the coach had still been on her. Yeah, so she's given the evidence to... Uh... Little, to little does she know... Stupid in there. Little does she know, Miss Columbo has an habit of fucking putting her fingerprints over evidence anyway. So this little sting ain't gonna ain't gonna cause any issues. Do we not get the do we not the get not get the scene where she's just wearing her suspenders and bra underneath for Mr. Colombo? Why would you want that? <laughs> Why, Why you are you that? thinking about that? Well you gay or something. Oh that's true. I'm really not. You know? No mate, I'm straight, <laughs> that's the issue. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean, this this this, this fucking twenty three year old looking forty year old transvestite is not exactly what I would fucking now that poor Patty is get me fucking rocks off to, mate. I'm sorry. The sad thing is, is this bird looks how old that, that fucking Kate Mulgrew's supposed to be, oh. but it's fucking like. And me? What you think? Right, her at fucking. No, I think that she looks fucking 40. Kate Mulgrew's like she supposed to be playing someone who's 40. Like it's like, but she, at least this bird is fucking she old. Like, Kate Mulgrew's 23 and looks 40. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get it, darling. Oh, oh she can bump him up now, is she? Nah, he already signed the... I don't own anything fucking prenup. Oh, you know it is at the door, don't you? Kate Mulgrew. Of course it is. In a Voyager uniform. <laughs> Sebo! <clears throat> mustn't do fire autism. Mustn't. Well, 
What's the fire autism going then a bit? How does it it's not a real fire, it's a gas fire. Also, fireplaces are really inefficient. You should have a stove. I thought so too, but I cannot accept this. The other great thing about stoves that is that if you're using like wood which spits a lot, like pine, yes, it's yours. okay. Sparks aren't going to fly out everywhere. There's no like spark guard in her fireplace. Would you like some champagne? Mm. Oh, no, no, thanks. I just dropped by to return Sybil's coat. She gave you the coat? Kate works for a newspaper. A neighborhood newspaper. And uh, she's doing a story on the business. Must be some story. <laughs> well, I'll let you two ladies talk. I think I've just interrupted a magic moment. Yes. You should have seen what I had planned for tonight. <laughs> well, I just wanted to thank you for the very nice thought. Cock block. You go now. on with whatever it was. You <laughs> <know>. <laughs> Poor bastard's been cock, well and truly cock blocked. You've been visited by the Kate Mulgrew cock block. Murder blocking, isn't she? Murder blocking. Fuck's <laughs> sake. That, that ain't for kinky four places, you to cave his head in. <laughs> the fuck is she up to? The bitch is just fucking. This bitch is just fucking crazy. She's just off the chain. I'm going to. all the caviar for herself. Yeah. Is the, is the caviar subplot over now, then, is it? I, I guess the, the caviar's run out now. Now they're back <laughs> to murder. You know, if she hits him with this, and he just goes, ah, and he's on the floor and bleeds out, I'll, that, that, that'll be it. What the f... He's got no money, you fucking mad bitch. Just fucking murder blocking. I'll bring you a copy. The story before we print it. Oh, I Some know. days you just can't do a murder. He is very handsome. Yes, isn't he? Yeah, don't murder him. Good night, Sybil. Good night, Kate. Where the fuck does she live? That's obviously an apartment block. She lives in a fucking house. It's not even like they're neighbours. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I think the writers are just like, we don't care anymore. <laughs> we, we don't, we've done five episodes, that's enough. Yeah, they're, they're having a stuff. write off, isn't they, in the room? Your, your fucking puppet episode were off the wall. Wait till you read this one. You thought yours didn't make sense. Hold <laughs> my beer. I mean, last week, when we were watching the one with Donald Pleasance, I thought, yeah. okay, this is a bit contrived, but it's still, you know, okay ish. Donald Pleasance was fucking going for it last week, weren't he? Oh, yeah. He was like, I'm gonna fucking eat all the scenery. Mom, 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 mom. <laughs> I'll show them all that Donald Pleasance could do comedy. I'm not just a horror actor, you know. Yeah, but was that was that back when uh, it was still under the pretense that it was a murder mystery show? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. No, no, that was a that was a spy movie. That was. <laughs> they can't decide what genre they want, can they? No idea, have they? They've got no idea at all what they're going for. <laughs> it's right or Kate Mulgrew just, just just does her usual thing. It's like that she can't act. Just, let's just make the show around her. <laughs> Do you reckon that's what it is? They keep trying different genres to see if they can find one that she's any good in. One that fits her. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Can you try sci-fi, Kate? Uh, okay, uh, Kate, sci -fi? Kate Mulgrew, in this scene, the murderer has a gun pointed at you. We need you to act you intimidated. Okay, I'm just going to grin at her. Kate, have you tried not quitting your day job? You were very close to each other, I mean. Well, we were planning her... What's my motivation? Um, yeah, good question. You're in it for... Uh, no nosy bitch. <laughs> <clears throat> it's just this feels like a sketch show there's a load of scenes that are stuck together for no real reason you're back you're back thank you thank oh, you what a nice watch oh it's just a time with Want to swim? Watch your ladies. 
Sybil's on her way home. Ooh, yeah, Why is she invited to all these yeah, places? Maybe. I was at the funeral home yesterday. She just, you know, she, Are you there? She goes where she likes. Didn't see she? you. No, bear in mind, she's a reporter for the you. Western yeah. Advertiser, so <laughs> is she going to be writing about, so like, coupon discounts you can get on caviar? Is is that why she's here? Well, I can understand, because no, that was a burgeoning, um, I don't know, burgeoning, it's, well, it seemed like an already it's established me. catering business, friend, so she was doing an advert for the Story catering business, the business, but as I far as this bit goes, no idea. I'm just trying to make the pieces fit. It's like a puzzle. Again, you don't have to. You even. just have, you work for an advertiser. All sounds very compulsive to me. You think that sounds compulsive? You work for JML. Why the fuck do you keep getting involved in murder mysteries? Yeah. <laughs> so I Fucking hell, they're doing Damien now. In preparation of the mind of passion. And Is she going to come come along, come along the fucking it, land, landing on a tricycle like Damien? Oh, thank you very much. I'm safe with us. Lumpfish. I remember before I married Sybil, there was this girl. Oh, she was a sensational girl. We were spending a few days at the Sultan's Palace in Palm Springs. The first night I wanted to make very special. I ordered caviar, champagne, everything I could think of. Turns out this girl was allergic to caviar. I have never seen anybody so sick in my whole life. I called the doctor. I spent so much time with that doctor that when we left Palm Springs, he asked me to write to him. <laughs> oh, dear. School's out. Promised my daughter I'd teach her how to knit. So are we saying that that woman was allergic to caviar and then she had a spoonful of caviar? Ah, it was lumpfish caviar. It was the old bait and switcheroo. It wasn't dog shit. It was lumpfish caviar. Dog eggs. Tour the country and sibber yeah. in luxury. What do you say? Do you like trains? Richard. Richard, what? I must have left it by the pool. I fucking oh. miss Columbo's Nick T. Can't leave <laughs> out around her. Huh? Oh, sticky Columbo. thing. Sticky fingered Madame Kate Columbo. <laughs> no. I don't think so. Darling. Is she just a psychopath? Is this when I'm she's looking. just a psychopath? Oh okay. my god, this What, they haven't got fast this week, are they? <laughs> oh, you know what? I fucking I had this watch in my pocket. Sorry, yes. I've come to drop it back off. Richard forgot oh, it. I'd have oh, murdered it too if it wasn't for that middle rat bag. I was halfway home when I remembered that <laughs> by the pool. It'd have been for that fucking Jane way. Cheers. Cheers. Are they trying to do comedy this week? Is that what they're trying to do? I think so, yeah. Get it. Kate? The puppet episode was a bit dark, so, you know. That's it's a bit a... light and shade, is it? Yeah, yeah. That's a line a little bit. Yeah, but why is she killing him? Is she just a nutter? Is that what it is? Are you ready to plan our train trip? She, she just needs more of that caviar. Like, yeah. whenever she has caviar, it's just like, next thing she wants to do a murder. Is he insured? Is that what it is? Because he ain't got no money. We've established that fact. He's, he's got he's got some money. He divorced her. He was married to her. Or they separated and she just wants all of whatever he's got. Yeah, but I don't he's think trying to make Wolfenstein kill himself, because... Yeah, but it looks like he's doing well for himself. Well, no, I think the thing is, it's her money, isn't it? I don't know, because I don't, I don't know. And the weekly advertiser will have to cut it down a little. How little? 500 words, I'll take. Oh. I've got these pictures here. Very nice, Mr. Colombo. Pick one. One? One, singular. It, uh, I'll run it in black article and white. on caviar. Right. The weekly advertiser, you know. What do you think? People that buy this for the coupons when they go to Walgreens. <laughs> Maybe this one. Nice. Mr. Alden. Nice. I wonder where I can get a blow-up of this. 
No need to blow up. It's too big already. No. I mean for me. Falling in love with your own word? It's interesting. Sybil. Yeah, it's another one. Oh, last Hello. Oh, Sybil, it's Kate Columbo. Um, uh, oh, what's her motive oh, again? She just like caviar makes her feel a bit murdery. <laughs> <laughs> About what? About Patty. She's Can I see you tonight? I'll meet you at your office. I can't get away until my husband gets home to take like care of Jenny. Uh, uh, Kate, yeah, but but here's the thing. Surely we're like 40 minutes into this episode. Oh, and give my regards to Richard. You know, she she gets like. Oh. Are, fact, God, we're getting near the end now. Yeah. Like, she gets one what? spoonful of caviar and she's like, oh, God, it's I want like to do that. It's like Popeye and spinach, isn't it? Fucking... <laughs> 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 right, time to murder the Mo Romanovs. <laughs> <laughs> murder the Romanovs. <laughs> oh. Your secretary did all this. She said you'd insist. This is any, oh, this this is the end. She's gonna say, oh, I know. This is the yeah, this is the end. She's gonna say, I know you're the fucking killer. Something, something <laughs> done. Ah, this, yeah. this is this is, this is an absolute bullshit <laughs> series. You fucking whinge at me <laughs> for bringing <laughs> fucking <laughs> retards like Andy Barnes into the group, and then you make me suffer <laughs> through this shit. <laughs> well, you don't have any fucking right to say <laughs> anything <laughs> again <laughs> like that. But we found dropped Kate Mole grew Columbo. I've murdered <laughs> someone now, so I definitely can't kill you to hide my crimes. You made you know, me watch four hours of holodeck episodes, and none of them made sense. We <laughs> 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 not as good as the episodes. episodes. Oh, it's not as good as the Moriarty <laughs> episode. <laughs> yeah. Caviar, lumpfish. But Harry had never eaten lumpfish. Besides, there was only. It, it did get a bit of style about the fifth That's fucking one Moriarty episode. Though, didn't it? Remember, you asked me to carry mm. the tray out of the kitchen. Oh, oh okay. sussed it. Yeah, but he got he got what he fucking deserved. I'll tell yeah. you a secret. Come, come on, Abby. If fucking Kate Mulgrew can suss it, I'm not surprised that you understood what we're going on. Oh, no, thanks. Hey, that's not well, a backhanded okay. compliment. That's a that's a okay. we, we, we get how they killed her. That isn't oh, the no, thing that doesn't no. make sense. It's just the rest of the fucking script that doesn't make sense. It, uh, I, I honestly, I felt I like this was all a job. bad trip. You see the little bits of caviar still in the jar? You see the lumpfish? Just one tray of lumpfish caviar in the whole part. Huh. Yeah. And? Where did it come from, your little jar of lumpfish? It is I stole the strangest it. thing, Sybil. I stole it. I found it in the pocket of your... Don't did nick it, mate. The one you tried to bribe me with, not to ask too many questions. Oh, that's where the caviar. She didn't steal the caviar. It came from the I'm pocket of the dress, the fur oh, coat no. she gave her. Oh, oh no, no, no. Evans, no. I think you were just trying to make her ill, to get her out of the car, to drive her to the train crossing. Oh, that's a cruel thought. Why would I do something like that? More champagne. Oh, thank you. Well, I think it had something to do with Patty's mysterious fiance. Ah, the one who never showed up at the funeral home. Oh, he showed up, Sybil. He was with you. That day by the pool, when Richard forgot his watch, he told me about a girl he was with. Well, that's why she should try to kill him then. Palace. Oh, before you were married. Yeah. She was allergic to caviar, but the Sultan's Palace wasn't built until eight months ago now. Do you think the girl could have been Patty? And the man she was going to marry was Richard? Palace? Ooh. And if he were... Mm. Well then, Patty's death wasn't an accident. Somebody murdered her. Did Patty take Richard away from you? Maybe they deserved each other. But Kate, now you know what time Patty was killed. I couldn't possibly have been there, could I? I was driving back to the plant for the Viking daggers, remember? Oh, the lobster tails! <laughs> the Viking daggers! They were in the truck all the time. The whole order for Mrs. Buschetti. You remember? Okay. I was taking pictures that day out by the loading dock. Well, 
There's the rack being loaded. Why are we taking pictures out I by the loading dock? Blown up. The police did it for me. You nosy bitch. <laughs> You've established that, Fraser. <laughs> the lobster tails. Hmm. I was just randomly taking photos. Yeah, if that's right. Yeah, Locked away. Oh, I done did a thing. Then you didn't have to go back to the plant. <laughs> you know, you're very good at puzzles. <laughs> That's what I'm telling oh, you. She's got no abstract. actual evidence on her, so she's just going to murder her now. I think oh, this is I what don't... it is. It's no. Kate Mulgrew's uh, vigilante justice. Yeah, so like I'm saying episode 9 is going to be her being brought into yeah. fucking court. She killed, like, all the other people. Mugwort <laughs> says, why are all these men in dresses? But you knew Patty and Richard were going to be married, and you couldn't know ahead of time that he'd come back to you. That's uh, a hate crime. Day, that's that's yeah, we're not all in Scotland, Fraser. <laughs> fucking hell, not an hate crime here. Not yet. Uh, uh, your feelings, just because you fancy Jane, right? <laughs> she's alright, to be honest. You leave Jane alone, like she's fit. <laughs> You're a Zuzana kind of person, then, Mush. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, 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 like, you like big hands and defined chins. <laughs> oh, it isn't, Richard. This one belongs to my husband's uncle, Nick, the commodity broker. So now she's even Hello. nicking off family. Yeah. Oh, one moment, please. It's Richard. What the fuck is going on with this? Yes. Yeah. Darling, I'm going to have to break you of this working habit. Mm. Wait until you hear what I have planned for tonight. What? Doors are locked. Telephone is off the hook. And you're in my arms. No, you don't want to do that, mate. You want to be no, like, what do you think of that? easily accessible. Yeah. Exactly, my dear. He, he forgot, he forgot the I bit where the fucking log fucking forks in his back. <laughs> what? What? What the hell? Just. Oh, let's have some champagne together. No, you've sussed it, Kate Mulgrew. Sorry, Kate Colombo. What? 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 <laughs> what? How can, hey, you, how can this be harder than the last one? How can it? What? I'm sorry, but it feels like it's a dream. The, what the people are saying has no context. Like, you murdered someone. Oh, yeah, my husband's going to ring me up. He's like, I've locked all the doors and I'm having a wank tonight. Oh, let's drink glasses and drink champagne to that, shall we? What the fuck? Is, oh, is there any more of this? I, I don't want to watch any more now, so I've had enough, but... That's, season, the... that's what... season one. Like, I think they did 25 episodes of this, and these were the only five broadcastable ones. I think that's my headcanon for what happened to season one. We've got eight episodes of season two to watch. No, Wait, we fucking what? ain't, mate. No, we fucking ain't, mate. <laughs> Putting my foot down right now. Hey. But, uh, do, do I need to remind you of the terms and conditions of the Mystery Science Theatre? We, they, they pump us full of movies so that we go insane. Yeah. We got um, to watch them. We got no choice. I think my only thoughts after that episode are in the thoughts of the, in the words of the Virgin Mary, come again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck happened? And what did I just watch? <laughs> Are we the only people that are critically watching Miss Columbo? You've, you've murdered someone, Chin Chin. <laughs> well, let's face it, no one really liked her. We'll, get, we'll give you this one. She was a bitch anyway. She stole my husband. What the fuck? You yeah, my husband's right, Randy, that I've murdered the girl he loved. <laughs> he said he's locked up in his I green can drink day. to that, you <laughs> <laughs> well, all's well that ends well, Chin Chin. Yeah. <laughs> what have I just watched? What? Have... <laughs> we're we're gonna, no we're gonna have a... like, She started off. We're... It is the the thing is the vigilante justice because she murdered that bloke in the first one, didn't she? Yeah. Mush, we are we are having a very fucking serious talk about these watch together at some point. <laughs> This feels like a fever dream. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If, I... It, 
It feels quite unreal to watch uh, yeah. Mrs. Columbo, I've got to say. I, I didn't know I could go on a vision quest without snorting <laughs> glue. It's weird. <laughs> so, you murdered someone then. Chin chin. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't. Yeah, you know I mean, the, the last last bird who drank champagne with you is dead. Here's to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got a habit of poisoning people. Yeah. I'll just accept your champagne. Oh dear, that is that was fucking mint. That one was. I I thought, <laughs> I I thought this is somewhat on the tracks, and then at the end it just goes, "Whoa, we're even better than the last one." It, when you, you say on the you tracks, we're going to get any better after the after the after not the ventriloquist one after the the sidekick one. You thought that it was going to go back on the track at any point after no, that. No, no, no. No, no. This this episode was kind of like... Oh, All yeah, right, it's emo, mum, calm it's a, down. It's a dinner party. <laughs> it's a dinner party. She's murdering her mate. And then, and okay, there's got to be a reason for it. And then it's just the end. It's like, oh, so you murdered someone then, chin chin. But they just fucking swerve you at the last minute and go, yeah, this is batshit still. This is as on the tracks as that... Um... The, the the Temple of Doom when they're in the minecart race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is one of the uh, the Indian geysers that goes off the tracks and fl- flies into a lava pit, isn't it? That's how on the tracks it is. A mum shabai, a mum shabai. Yeah, um num shabai, um num shabai. Kalima, Kalima, Kalima. Oh, wow. Right, there we go. I'm so, sure. I'm sure. Glad that's over with. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, if anybody isn't watching, uh, watch this to the end because this is fucking batshit. In the not too distant future, they left a guy like you and me. So what we're saying then? After after like the first ten minutes of episode one, they just lob the script out. You don't know. No. I mean, the goals, pilot. The pilot first was episode somewhat... was all right. Yeah. Hang on. The pilot's there. She blows that bloke up in the house. Okay. Is it the second right. one where the copper's there the at the end? So, she, so at least the copper's there at the yeah. end. This is written by Al Reynolds and Howard Burke. No, no, I'm the just copper wasn't there at the end. He was in the room again, like, just saying, I know you did it, and then it ends. Yeah. Like, the the, le- the rest of the episodes. Is just like... I can't even find Madame Columbo on IMDb. I want to know more <laughs> about Al Reynolds and Howard Burke. Like Mrs. Columbo. In the TV series called Mrs. M- Columbo. Mrs. C- Columbo. Yeah. Yeah, but it says it's Ma- Madame Columbo in the titles. What? Yeah, what? It's What's some up? Sort of French. Co- do they when they play stuff in France of it? Do they play it in English? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, they, they do. don't. Not so at why all. Are they, why, Germany why, are they, why are the titles French? Well, a little yeah, bit. Because well, it's written it's by. Yeah, it's it's like, it here's the thing: you can't you can't bits. give a program bad reviews if you don't know its real name. And yeah. that's the other thing as well. Like, <laughs> like the French don't use ampersand; they say it. So it's written by Richard Allen Simmons, Lawrence Herzog, Jeff Freilich, Simon Muntner, Christopher Trumbo, Howard Burke, and Al Reynolds. Well, I haven't and seen they all Al take it in turns picking a genre for each of the episodes. So, yeah. uh, Al Ren- well, apparently, even though Al Reynolds is credited in this episode, his name's not in the writing credits. <laughs> oh, she's later. She's later renamed Kate Callahan after an off-screen divorce. <laughs> so they, so they wreck on they they wreck on it, it at the end. Wait, so she marries Dirty Harry? Yeah, according to the chronological problems, actress Lily Hayden, who play, portrayed Kate's daughter Jenny, was eight years old. Kate would have to have married Columbo and had their daughter when she was underage, while Pete, Peter Fork would have been in his early 40s. <laughs> so, um, it, oh, fuck. Uh, oh, uh, John, Yes. Howard Burke <laughs> is, is known for Columbo and Mission Impossible. Yeah. But, you know, two things which, like, do actually make sense. Oh, this is... Oh, uh, yeah. Whose idea again was it to watch this fucking dog shit programme? <laughs> oh, you can blame Hemi for that. It's. I think it's so bad it's good. It's... That's a cope if I've ever heard one. 
Look, look, Hemi, I can tell you that there, there, if you're on the trip, there are drugs available. Who needs yeah, drugs not... when you got Kate Colombo? Yeah, Sargon's horseshoe theory doesn't go all the way to programs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't know um, about that. Uh, Peter Fork expressed his disapproval of the spin-off, calling it a bad idea and disgraceful. When Columbo returned to the air in 1989 on ABC, it further established that Lieutenant Lee Columbo and his wife were still happily married and the existence of the series Mrs. Columbo was effectively, effectively ignored. Why would they oh, do here this? We, here we go. So Richard Allen Simmons, also known as Al Reynolds, is known for writing Mrs. Columbo, The Island of Dr. Moreau, and something called Ironside? Yeah. Oh, oh I've right, right, right. I'll, I'll figured out your Madame Columbo. Both seasons of Mrs. Columbo released as a five disc set called Madame Columbo Saisons 1 and 2 in France on October the 22nd, 2014. What the uh, fuck? They actually made a DVD version of this in 2014. They wanted to keep this series alive. Then that needs to go in the fucking desert with E.T. then, doesn't it? Fucking... Yeah. Got a special place in the desert for this one. This needs to go alongside E.T., doesn't it? What do you think archaeologists no, you... like, a million years are going to find of E.T.? They're going to be like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah. They're going to they're gonna sit there and say, why have they shown the killer in the first three, about three minutes? <laughs> Why, why is she stuck drinking with the killer at the end of the programme? Is that why the rest of it has to be so bizarre? But, you know, to, to make you forget that there was a murder, forget who murdered who at the start. <laughs> I, I, just, I, I just don't, I, I don't get it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get it. It's, it's a fever dream. We'll eventually shake it off and just pretend it never happened. Yeah, but even fever dreams, your brain trying to make sense of something. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to make sense of any of that? Um, I, I think there are Benadryl trips which make more sense than this. <laughs> uh, kids, yeah. if you're at home, don't do Benadryl. Yeah. Or if you are going to do yeah, Benadryl, don't, don't, don't watch this. Yeah, don't take hard drugs and watch Mrs. Colombo. It might make sense. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, it do, if it does make sense, ring your doctor immediately. If, and if you are an S LSD, definitely don't watch this ventriloquist episode. Talk to Frank saying you're having a bad trip after watching five episodes of Miss Colombo. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I think... Are we done with Mrs. Colombo now? Uh, for now, at least. For now. Yeah, oh, we, we forget how bad it is. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll stomach it high. if you can. Get high and do it. I want to see how bad it gets. I want to see how bad it gets when they retool it and make it when better for the second season. I, I'll have to get in touch with JMK about some of those edibles. <laughs> oh, by the way, that last episode was written written by Al Reynolds and Howard Burke. So, um, yeah, write to them. You, yeah. you can't. They're both they're dead. Alive. No, Brutus was last seen getting getting a getting a plane ticket to uh, Hollywood. Yeah. It was fucking dead, you cunt. <laughs> what are you on about? Kate Mulgrew was last spot again on a fucking plane You're here Hollywood. laughing and they're dead and you're dead and they're dead. <laughs> yeah, and dead inside. Dead. She's dead and you're, you're dead and she's laughing. Yeah, but no one's in prison for it. Yeah. <laughs> no no one gets arrested. Right, then it's about time to end this live stream. Nighty night all. All right, man. No, no, no.